real purpose of this meeting. Thank you very much. Over to you, Chair Modise. Should I stand up as well? Oh, I'm told standing up shows or oh, it's a sign of respect. So I'm sure as we engage, Nani, you're going to stand up. But you are too serious. I doubt if I'm in the right meeting. I thought I was invited to meetings of creativity or creative arts. But the way you are so serious, you swear that you are worried that your team is going to play against pirates. <laughs> You are serious. I'm worried. You are very serious. I'm worried. And you know, there are so many actors in this room, including the HOD is also an actor, including you. The HOD, can you hear me now? You can't hear me. Technical, technical, can you please assist us? The most important people in the house are complaining about the quality of the sound. The most important people in the house, not the ones in the front seat. Is it better now? Can you hear us now? Maybe if we could put up the speakers if it's a surround sound. This one turn like this, this one turn like this, so that the sound goes this way. Uh, can I check? Minabeli Nizwa, or were the same? Beling Nizwa, Mina, or we are the same? Beling Nizwa. Can you hear me now? Wonderful. Oh, no wonder you were so serious. Man, I thought you were angry. And I didn't understand why you were angry because the HOD is an actor, chief director is an actor, yourselves are actors. <laughs> oh, pony face, I didn't know you were an actor. I thought I was the only one who was an actor here. HOD, I didn't know you were an actor. Uh, colleagues, I don't want to call you ladies and gentlemen, because I'm told if I say ladies and gentlemen, I must also include it. What is it, uh, Chair? The queer or what? Pilile. Yeah, the, yeah, you must. So, colleagues, it's safer that way. Uh, <clears throat> the purpose of the meeting today is very simple. We had a meeting in Soweto, I'm sure you remember, in Orlando. We had engagement there. Some of you raised the frustration sharply, but I'm still. I'm still get to attend a meeting, HOD, where one of the colleagues will stand up and say, man, I'm from the department. I applied, turn around time, I got what I applied for, no problem. I'm not sure if those who are acting will still go to Grahamstown Arts Festival. I'm not sure why you, we have never came across a proposal that says we want to do a Grahamstown Arts Festival in Gauteng, where we can bring everyone here, the home of champions, I don't know why. Uh, be that as it may be, the purpose of today is to get a feedback from the department on the issues that we raised, and then we flag those that we need to follow up on. So you'll say, we agree, we hear what the department is saying, but let's follow up on these issues but they are, because they are very important to us as a sector. I'm told that there are those who are, in, who are athletes here, be it a soccer player, netball, cricket, and all of that. And then there are actors. I'm told there are musicians here. Yeah? I want to, Chair, I want to challenge those who are in music. I want to challenge those who are in music. 
that not all of you must be my piano artist. Not all of you must be my piano artist. There's a segment of music that majority of you ignore. A segment of music that majority of you are ignoring. See, oh, when we were in Germany, you remember what they said about that festival that takes place in Germany? October 1st, but it's in September. But they call it October 1st. When I was engaging with a gentleman who's part of the people who are organizing, they say when they, they bring an artist from South Africa, they're expecting two things. They're expecting a DJ, one. Two, they're expecting a performance of Lady Smith Black Mambazo. And I know in South Africa we have way more than that. Clap and tap. It's one music that we can take the whole world. It's not there. It's only in South Africa. Clap and tap. It's only in South Africa. I think it's time that you invest your energies, those who are in music, invest your energy in clap and tap. So the purpose is that, Chair. We are going to receive, through the acting HOD and the, and the team, we are going to receive the feedback and then we flag the issues that we need to, that we want us as a committee to follow up on. So that when we meet, the chair said we are meeting again in June. So we'll have April and May to prepare so that when we meet in June, we're able to give you the feedback, not the department, us as a committee. We should be able to say to you, you said you must go and do a follow-up on the following, and this is a report back that is coming from the committee. I hope we, it was loud and clear, and I hope the sound has been sorted. Thank you very much, Chair. Uh, thank you, uh, Member Modise, uh, Injalo. Uh, and without uh, any waste of time, so these are the, the acting HOT, the head of acting, and then <laughs> uh, to come and lead uh, us uh, on the engagements. Over to you, HOT. Th thank you, thank you, Chair. Uh, can I sit down? Can you sit down? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, no, thank you, Chair, and, and thank you, colleagues. Uh, yes, Chair, indeed, there was a meeting on the 10th of November, 2022. Um, at the Deep Kloof Hall. Um, a number of questions were raised after the department presented the quarter two results. Um, we have summarized the questions that were raised, that were raised, and I will go through each item that was raised and provide the department's official response thereto. Chair, the first issue that I want to address is the issue of granting aid. Um, and the questions was more around the progress that the department has made in terms of the processing the granting aid. And the response of the department is as follows. Um, that the, the department received a lot of responses to counting aid, which were adjudicated upon by a committee appointed by the MEC. And in total, Chair, we received 72 applications for arts and culture. Now let me rephrase. Of the proposals that came in, 72 were approved and 56 out of the 72 have been paid. So there's only 16 that have not been processed and the reason they are not processed is the following. Four of them 
do not have vendor numbers. Two of them have applied for and Applied for the vendor numbers. To, to engage, if you can just allow him to present. As I started, the years and staff will be asking those questions and will be responding to them. Thank you. That would be the first question, but if you are able to cover it, uh, HOT, please. But I just, I just don't want interjections because uh, we are company no, and then it delays everything. So I would prefer he finishes, you note your questions, then you raise them uh, once it's done. Thank you. No, thank you very much, Chair. So, so I've got the list here of the 16 companies that still require to complete the, the necessary submissions so that the payments can be processed. And as I said, it's 16 companies out of 72. On the sports and recreation side, we had 43 qualifying companies. And of the 43, 34 have been paid and nine are still outstanding. Again, it's the same reasons, Chair, where the, either the tax clearance has expired, at least there's one where the payment is in progress. So when we say payment is in progress, it means all the necessary paperwork has been received and the payment is in the process of being put onto the next payment run. Um, And there's two that don't have a vendor number at all and have not even begun the process of applying for it. As we indicated, Chair, in that meeting, that the, the department is willing and prepared to assist those companies that would require that assistance to apply for a vendor number and, and, and the necessary documentation. So these two companies has, have, have not even approached the department to to seek that assistance. So that is the feedback on the, on the grant in aid. And maybe safe to say, Chair, that the, the, the advert for the 2023-2024 grant in aid um, has, been, has been done and will probably go out into the, to the media in the first quarter of the next financial year. I will then respond to other issues that were raised per corridor. So starting with Citibank. The first issue that was raised in Citibank as a general comment was the lack of sports ground and a swimming pool in the Plukong area. Um, I will respond to that after having gone through all of them. And the second issue was, was raised, that was raised is around funds getting into the Mfuleni district for sports and the lack of sports programs in the Mfuleni area. That was raised by Mpo Ellen. And in Ward 93, there was a request for equipment and playing kits. And that then Nikwazi in the Pelong raised the issue of school sports not being well coordinated in that area. 
yeah, that summarizes the issues that came out of out of CD Bank, out of Tswane. Again, it was issues of um, sports facilities and grading of, of fields in Mamelodi and provision of sports kits. And Coach Bridget, um, a woman co coach and owner of a development academy, raised an issue of lack of kits, transport, and league affiliation fees for local teams. The issue of multi-purpose um, courts, otherwise known as combi courts, was also raised for Mamelodi and sporting coaches in the schools around Mamelodi. And Fumani Ndovanda raised the issue or needed the MEC to be invited um, to Mamelodi. And Grace Ramushobani, who is a modeling coach and a fashion designer, requested support and funding to go to the Milano Art Exhibition. And in the Johannesburg Corridor, Sipo Velapi raised an issue around NPAs requiring sports kits. Um, jointly linked at the Temban Tombella. And Brian Tombella raised an issue of running attire and branding thereof. And support, and support for participation in major races outside Gauteng. And Noli Tasse Pepper requested assistance with film equipment. And Zama Kambi, who is the organizer of the Soweto Festival, requested support for the Soweto Festival in, in, in terms of funding. The West End, there was an issue of non-recognition of sports and arts raised by Archibald Machene. Inclusive of sharing of programs in the area, including arts programs in GBV. And there was also a request to make GFC programs accessible to rural areas in the West Rand. And lastly, in the East Rand, the Asidla Songke Soccer Academy, um, based in the West Rand, requested trophies and kits. And Mzwake Giani requested funding for his organization. It's not stated what organization this is. And the second last was a question around how do you apply for the youth camp coordinators? Okay, so to respond to these questions, um, I think it is important here that we note that the, the department has got different funding instruments. Um, for different needs. So, starting with sports and recreation, there are several programs within the department that one can apply for. Firstly, we've got what we call the major events program in the department, where colleagues can submit proposal in response to a call for proposals, and the bidding and hosting process of the department would then take those proposals through the process for, for, for funding in that financial year. In addition to that, we've got the, 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 the major events budgets, which, which, which looks at major events held in the, in the province. Um, some attempt as significance because of the type and number of people that, they, that these events would attract. Then there's our standard APP funding instruments that we use in the departments, like your community games, your holiday programs, your Easter games. 
And then in addition to, to that, we've got the school sports program, which incorporates quite a lot of sporting codes that are implemented in conjunction with the Department of Education. That leads into several uh, uh, provincial and national championships. And that would be in the codes of, that would be in athletics, that would be in track and field, uh, cricket, football, netball, um, we've got swimming, swimming programs, learn to swim programs. Um, um, in the last financial year, chair, we also introduced as part of the school program the, the rowing as well as um, horse riding. We had intended to bring in um, golf um, as well as, what's the fifth one? Skateboarding. We started with skateboarding in Soweto. And, and, and in Mamilodi. So those are the programs that, 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 that the department, by and large, uh, uh, support. In addition to that, Chair, the, the department spends a huge, a quite significant budget on equipment and attire for sports and recreation. Um, and that equipment and attire is distributed through the programs that we uh, implement as a department. Uh, through community games and all the other games that I've, that I've mentioned. So support would be given by way of distributing those through the corridors to the, to the um, sports clubs that, that would have applied. We are aware as a department chair that there is lack of sporting infrastructure in particularly in townships. One the sporting infrastructure that is currently in our schools um, has not been maintained for quite a long time. So that infrastructure in schools requires um, intensive maintenance. We are starting, with, we've identified 72 schools to kick off with across the entire province that have one or more sporting infrastructure on site that the department will start with the pro program of refurbishing those sports facilities in our schools. We're also identifying soccer fields in our locations um, to, to install artificial turf. And the reason we're going for artificial turf chair is that one, it does not require a lot of maintenance. So there's no cut, regular cutting and watering that is required. Once we install it, 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 it it's, it's a permanent fixture of the, of, the, of, 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 of the field. Except that... It will burn. It's not grass. It's actually rubber. So we're identifying schools in our... Uh, I mean, soccer field, community soccer fields in our townships especially those that are used regularly by our communities as sporting uh, 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 programs, to put artificial uh, uh, turf on those, those soccer fields, as well as proper poles and nets, and in some instances, put in bleachers, your, your, your steel grandstands, that can be mounted into the ground and not removable. Uh, so that's a, that's, that's a fast track program that we've started um, uh, guided, uh, driven by the Premier Chair. Um, the process of identifying those, those um, areas has begun through, through the, the ward councillors. It is a ward-based project. So the information regarding those fields that need refurbishment will come through the ward councillors and feed into the province. So it is a ward-based program. And it will address all public fields, be it netball or football or cricket or rugby. Um, but strategic fields in our townships that, re that require that, that refurbishment will be, will be addressed through that program. Um, I'm scrolling here, Chair, to see if there's anything else that I haven't addressed. Or maybe, Chair, at this point, I can allow the chief directors to, as well as the CEO of GFC, um, to make any inputs on anything that I'm, I might have left out. Uh, 
And then maybe in particular, I'll ask uh, Chief Director Marisa Rose to speak about the, the academies, to address the issue on the academies that was raised here. There was also an issue around the Arts Council Chair, the functioning of the Arts Councils and the relationship between the provincial and the national. And Chief Director Mazila Zila will address that as they step forward to address the session. Thank you very much, Chair. Good morning, everybody. All right, there are three areas I'm going to just um, give feedback on. The one will just be also on facilities because there is another uh, approach that can be utilized. The second one is just on programs. We get a lot of requests for equipment and attire or programs that are not happening in communities. So I'm going to give you how to actually go about assess, uh, accessing um, our, our offices. And then the third one on academies. So in terms of sport facilities, yes, my acting HOD indicated to you around um, some of the priorities um, in the new financial year on facilities. But that obviously doesn't cater for everyone who needs a facility in a community. It's very important, and we always stress this with our sport organizations. And you'll hear the Gauteng Sports Confederation will also indicate to sport uh, organizations what process we need to follow. At the provincial level, in terms of sport facilities, our process is long. It's cumbersome because the funding that we have for facilities lies with Treasury. So we need to apply to Treasury for funding. But what I want to say to the sport organizations, it's very important that you attend the IDPs of municipalities. That is the, the integrated development plan meetings of local municipalities. And they call these public meetings for all community members to give input into these IDPs. And we always find with sport organizations, we never attend or we seldom attend these meetings. And therefore, when we request for sport facilities, it's never on the IDP. And if it's not on the IDP, it's not going to get funding for your f facility. So I really want to urge, and I've seen um, the, uh, the, the municipality sending out these notices. And if you're not sure when your municipality is going to sit on the IDP, go to the local office, the sport office. You have to do that. And ask them, when is your IDP meeting? So that you go with your organizations and you go sit in those meetings and you make your voices heard in those meetings. Please support. Okay, we know there's, there's a lot of money. No, local government gets funding from National Treasury for facilities. But if you don't put your, uh, uh, what type of facility or upgrading you need, we're not, gonna, we're not gonna move on facilities in this province. So we need your help to get that funding through local government. Programs. So I'm glad the head of Corridors is here today. So what we've done is in sport and arts and culture, Boniface will say, will indicate to you, because you know sometimes head office is very high up or far from, from people on the ground. So what we've done this year, or going forward for 2023, because we've learned from past mistakes, is to decentralize all our programs. What does that mean? It means that the money we have, we've given to our corridors. So they are responsible for the implementation of programs in the corridors. So I think what we can do for you, because when we receive a request for attire or programs, one of the things we started doing was to say to the corridor, please go and meet with that organization, find out who they are, 
Are they affiliated to a structure? Um, where do they train or visit a training program so that we can see that they're legitimate? Because I can tell you, we've given equipment and attire, and then a few weeks later, we see them selling it on the corner. So we need to make sure that we check those checks and balances as well. All right. So I'm sure we can, through the head of corridors, is forward who the contact details of our corridor officers. That's where you need to start. And that's where we're going to refer you. Because we believe that's where implementation and they're in close contact with our communities as well. All right? They will then determine how and where they can assist and support you. Okay, so we want, we, we're trying that, and it, it has worked, because we've already piloted in certain of the corridors already. Academies. So this year, we work very closely or with the Houting Sports Confederation. They have an academy commission in place, which we as a department is going to work with them. Sometimes there are teams who call themselves an academy, and you're not necessarily academy. So what, they've, what they have in place is they have criteria in place which determines um, at what level is your academy. Is it a club level? Is it a high performance uh, uh, club or academy? Or where do you sit in that tier? So then we can ensure that we can give you proper recognition and support for your academy as well. All right. So those are the independent academies that, we, that we're talking about. Okay, I think I answered the three. If there's any more, we'll answer later. So the youth camp, the, if you're talking about how are the, how's the youth identified, these are identified through, we use um, the Department of Education. We work through the corridors um, as well, where they then identified uh, the youth that's going to be on the youth camp. So that's the process that we, that we utilize. Um, I just need to check with them um, in terms of do people apply to, to, to be on it or do they just do their selection randomly. So that's something I just need to find out uh, from the recreation program um, and give you feedback on that. Hopefully I can do that now and then give you feedback on that one. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Marissa. Sanbonani? Uh, let me start with what the acting head of department started with. Granting aids. 2021-2022 was not a good year for the department. And we all know the challenges that we faced regarding the requirement to have a policy before we can allocate Every year, we are allocated a budget to disperse. And in that budget, we need to ensure that 30 arts and culture organizations and 30 sport and recreation organizations get supported, which makes it 60. Because we did not disperse in that year, the following year, we then resolved to increase the numbers to 60 arts and culture and 60 sport and recreation to close the gap of the year before. But the unfortunate part of that was that we did not receive additional resources or additional funds, meaning we had to make means with what we had. Hence the report by the acting head of department. It's more than 30 arts and culture and 30 sport and recreation as we are attempting to close the gap that was left. Yes, indeed, for the current financial year, those who have access to our website, you will have seen that we have already indicated uh, and advertised from yesterday on the website of the department for granting aid. We are expecting the advertisement on one national newspaper and three local newspapers, including social media, to happen as and when we appoint a service provider, which must happen before 
the end of this quarter and before we can start the new financial year. That is also linked HOD to the waiting period. We, in terms, in terms of our program or our project plan, we must advertise during the fourth quarter of every financial year, do adjudication and allocations in quarter two, and ensure that in quarter three we implement the programs. That is the project plan that we have. But obviously, for reasons that some of us are aware of, internal challenges, delays in appointment of service providers, we were unable in 2021, 2022 to achieve that. But as we've indicated, for 22, 23, we are on course, the timetable, we are on it, and we should be able to do all the work that needs to be done administratively by quarter two. The team that does adjudication, the committee or the council, it gets appointed by the MEC for a period of three years, guided by the legislation. The MEC can review, change, remove, add any member at any given time. The law allows her to do that. So we all know this committee that you have for granting aids was appointed last year. So we count three years going forward. Then there is a question that was raised regarding the relationship between the provincial and the national. Chair and honorable members, the first part of that response is that it will also assist that the committee invites the council for an engagement in terms of their activities, roles and responsibilities, and how they relate with other organs that are within the cultural and creative space. Two, these two councils are regulated by different legislat legislative frameworks. Other one is a provincial and other one is national. The actual relationship with regard to their work, it is not with regard to the implementation, but it's mostly on monitoring programs that come from national, implemented in Houten, two, to manage issues of budgeting and allocations to avoid double dipping. Because some applications are successful nationally and then they get successful in the province. So we need to ensure that with the little or small cake that we have, we share as much as we can. Three, one member of the provincial council is appointed by the MEC on request from national to sit in the national council. So that is the relationship at a minimal level, but in terms of the operationalization of their work, I think the council and uh, 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 the MEC uh, will, will look into that. Obviously, we have not yet done the introduction of this council to the stakeholders because it needs first to be introduced to the member of the executive council, the MEC, once they've had their deliberations, their program for the year, and if the MEC is happy with the previous report and no one uh, has been uh, removed, the council remains, then we can introduce it to the stakeholders. After that meeting, the meet and greet between the council and the MEC. Issues pertaining to major events. 21, 22, as I've indicated, we also did not advertise we did not allocate for reasons outlined under the granting aids. For this current financial year, we are done with the internal processes, but we'll be doing the actual advertisement in quarter one. Because most stakeholders complain that if we bring the two under one advert, it confuses people or people end up applying for what they didn't intend to apply for. So for this year, we've separated the Grading 8 advert from the major event advert. We start with the Grading 8. Once it advertised, then we'll follow with the one for major events. It's the same allocation, and we'll, we'll support the events 
that have made applications. That is linked, HOG, to the questions that were raised in the previous session, those who requested to be, to be funded, including the Soweto one. That once the applications are opened, we provide a clear criteria on what is required for one to be considered. What is good about this process is that it is not in the hands of the officials of the department. We have one member of the department who sits there, who is the director of creative industries. We'll have one representative from the municipalities. You'll have one member from the Arts Council in the province. Then you'll have three that are appointed by the MEC from the stakeholders who are in the event management space. So there is no way that the department or the official of the department will manipulate the process unless those who are participating were willing to be manipulated, independent as they are. Oh, I nearly forgot. Also, there's a representative of GTA from the Gauteng uh, Tourism Agents because the events that you want to support are events that seek to ensure that Gauteng becomes the hub of Africa's cultural and creative industries. What we incubate and what we're going to support need to leave a mark and ensure that in terms of tourism, job creation, social and economic development, all those aspects in terms of our events and bidding strategies are accommodated. So that is uh, with regard to the issues raised pertaining to access to facilities for the cultural and creative uh, practitioners. We know that the provincial government does not own or has less of facilities that they, they, they can call under the classification of the province. The majority of these facilities are under the municipalities. We are residents of Gauteng. We come from different municipalities. We know the realities of these municipalities. We know the challenges of these municipalities, either to access or to maintain those facilities. But because we are one government, and stakeholders, they do not care whether a service is delivered by national, provincial, or national, they expect a service from government. And because of that, we have an IGR process. I think the next political IGR is on the 24th of March, if uh, not mistaken, where after that we'll be able to start and conclude the process of having agreements with municipalities that would include programs, activities, and the utilization of those facilities. So at this stage, we will work with the municipalities to ensure that we have some level of access to those uh, facilities that belong to, to the municipalities. I think I've tried to cover all that uh, you have indicated, acting head of department. Thank you very much. Good uh, morning, honorable chair, honorable members, all our stakeholders here today and colleagues. I will be responding to a number of questions raised in our last engagement as we have recorded them accordingly. The first issue that was posed was with regards to the Soweto Film Festival um, to indicate that it's not receiving much support. I do note that uh, some of the issues may have been responded under the granting aid, but from the GFC would like to report that we had supported them financially in the 21-22 financial year and had participated and been part of the panel and discussions in the previous year accordingly. So we have also identified key festivals that we will be supporting going forward in order to make sure that uh, we raise awareness of more of these festivals that we're participating in. There was also a question around equipment 
from a lady called Nolita who wanted to know when they are getting various responses. And we are unable to track that particular application primarily because we need the application, the company name or the application name in order to successfully lead with that. With that said, it is therefore important to note that uh, we had opened for applications round about September or so last year. And as a result, when the evaluation committee and the adjudication, which was in independent, looked into applications, we did find that not all corridors were equally represented. What we then did as management, we had a special call for areas like Swanee, City Bank, and West Rand, which you may have noticed went earlier, um, early March. That call was just to close that particular gap for those particular three regions, and it was for about nine equipments. What we will be doing with regards to equipments as well is we are about to open up a call the, in the next coming week or two, right? Let me not commit to date. And we will then uh, be calling out for enterprise development in the various corridors. My request, uh, again, is we have noted that there are certain regions where we do not get sufficient applications from which is again Tswani, City Bank, and West Rand. We are calling upon those various communities and the corridors to make sure that your applications are submitted accordingly in order for us to make sure that there is adequate balance in how we are funding the various corridors. With regards to animation, there was a call for us to support more of animations. What we are doing with regards to animations is we are participating and are supporting a number of animation hubs. For example, in Swani, there is the AB4IR, uh, which is an animation center. We are looking and are supporting it. In addition to that, we are also actively supporting Simulukong, which is an animation hub. But what I would also like to indicate is we've been having various engagements, particularly as well with Animation SA. And we'll be seeking more funding to say how do we get more and more of um, communities involved. Because one of the key things that they are saying to us is we are seeing application and most of our participants are not really from the rural, Houghton rural communities. So we will be working with them on a drive to make sure that there is equal representation of the stakeholders of Houghton and all the corridors that are involved. There was also a call to say GFC needs to be more accessible, particularly in the Gauteng rural areas. Colleagues, you may have noted that around December, the GFC had activated the Munati December when we were re literally focusing into the more rural Gauteng or identified type of areas. So we are making strides in making sure that there is access in those particular areas. But what is important is to note that um, we will be looking into installing what we called our kiosks. Our kiosks will be in the rural community. These kiosks will have internet access, will have computer access for, up, for people who do not have access to resources for uh, application process and various processes. So we are looking for partners, particularly in communities, to make sure that when we do roll out these kiosks, that there is access and they are in a place where they are safe and where they are uh, looked after. So this for us will be able to address the matter of access. But most importantly to note is uh, I would also request that uh, our stakeholders do 
continue uh, looking into our various social media platforms where we do really communicate where we will be. Particularly in the month of March, we will be having workshops in the various communities and we, with the intention of giving more information on access to applications, but also indicating on the areas where most of the stakeholders fall short in application processes so that they stand a better chance. I'm sure uh, stakeholders are aware that by the call of the Premier to say we need to be focused in Tish areas, which is now your township informal settlements and hostels, and therefore we are anticipating that as you are sitting here, and when we do make a call, that applications do come from that particular region. But also, we are compelled by a research that was done uh, in the last year that also indicated that Applications predominantly, 60% are coming from the city of Joburg. And we do know that we don't serve as the city of Joburg. So again, as the GFC, we are making an appeal to the stakeholders in the various regions to say, please make sure that your applications meet the standard and are submitted in order for us to fund you adequately. Thank you very much, Chair. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you, Chair. Um, Chair, maybe in conclusion, um, I think I think it is important that uh, I make a few comments. Uh, one, it was intentional on my part to bring the chief directors for core programs to this session today, and the reason for that, Chair, is that. At, at the Department of Sports, Arts, Culture and Recreation, it is no longer business as usual. And, and I'm saying that, Chair, because a lot of the colleagues seated here probably know the history of this department and the public perception of this department. And we're saying for us to make a dent in trying to correct that, we have to change our business model. We have to change the way we do things internally. And, and that is what I'm spearheading, Chair. I have formed a, a commission, so to speak, in my office that looks at simple and practical things. You know the intervention of the department as an enabler? in the sectors of sports, arts, culture, and recreation is a simple thing. There's nothing complex about the work that we do. And we therefore should be able to do this work with ease. Now, it's, it's, it's somewhat disturbing when you still hear of people who are either still chasing a payment or even a simple thing like people still chasing for an official to answer their call or respond to their email. Now, this committee chair meets every Monday morning at, at 9 to deal with these issues. And I personally chair uh, 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 those meetings to ensure that simple and basic things that an official should be able to do are done with ease. That the people that we serve should not battle to reach us that the responses from the department must come out with ease. You must not push a person to do their job, so to speak, Chair. So that's what we are doing. And I'm inviting colleagues to escalate such issues to myself so that they can get the attention that they require. For me as the acting head of department and everybody else in the department. So as we speak, I'm not trying to expose the functioning of the department. It's an internal matter. But I think it's important for the colleagues to know that there's a new captain in the, in the ship and things must be different. So, as you engage, Chair, uh, we will ensure that we note these things. And if none of these things are reported back within a reasonable time by a relevant official, 
Therefore, my head must be on the block. That is why when I reported on the meeting of the 11th of November, I mentioned people by name. So I could tell you who said what in that meeting. So that we are able to deal, and all these names that I have here have numbers. I'll be able to go back to each one of those people to follow up on the issues that they have raised. So that we do not lead a sector that is beginning to hate us. So, so, so those are the changes that we want to do in that office. And I'm opening myself up to the colleagues in this, in this room today. That if there are such issues, raise them with me. Personally. And I'll personally come back to you on those issues, having made sure that they are attended to in the office. Thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Acting HOD. Uh, Zinga again, Tanga Zamila. Lamzibanta Temlibat. A show on TV, Tatemlibat. Let's talk. Light Eva. Or a lady tag, or a Babanya, you go in a gum. It was Ankiri Baba Banya and the Bagasim TV in Tatim Livat. It's that time, uh, colleagues. Uh, Chairperson Mudise will be uh, facilitating the process of uh, questions. I just thought, uh, you know, in these meetings, I actually don't ask questions. I allow the department to speak to you. But because. Uh, NAMI, I noted issues in, the, in that meeting of November. I feel that there are few that I think when the department responds, they must also touch on, uh, that I think they didn't touch on. And number one is that uh, the status of art centers, art community centers in the community. For example, the Rio Chachuayo Art Center, uh, which has not been operational for a while. The other one, uh, I, I know there's progress, but I must ask because it was not reported. Uh, the MEC had said uh, she will start a process of engaging our stakeholders. She said she will meet them. So we need to know if that process is happening. One stakeholder did confirm to me that, that, uh, that there is an engagement, but for the sake of the meeting, we want to know. Uh, the third one is, 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 is in relation to reports. Uh, you touched on it, HOT, and also uh, Bob Mazilazila touched on it of the corridor offices. The accessibility of those offices and the provision of their addresses uh, so that... Uh, us here we can also visit those offices and see if they are there. Uh, the other one is if there are plans uh, on the continuous uh, budget underspending uh, that has affected the implementation of programs negatively, especially in the art sector, if we can get a response there. Uh, there was a request that uh, if possible on decisions mainly i think when we speak to arts if i'm not mistaken uh, if there can be uh, some level of consultation uh, in relation to decisions and programs that uh, will happen uh, we were speaking about boards if i'm not mistaken and 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 the stakeholders were worried that who are these board members where are they appointed and all those things and we said uh, it's time that we include them even when we appoint these boards because they are in the field. And the last one that uh, I may have noted is the, the implementation of arts uh, in school programs. Uh, the stakeholders were worried that uh, we take a maths teacher. Eh? We say, I had a curriculum, you have to cover funds in arts. And I say, yes. And we end up not teaching them what is correct. And there was a request that since uh, most of them are unemployed, 
And uh, in this department, we don't speak of CWP, no, EPWP. What was the possibility uh, that at least we become inclusive and put them in schools where possible so that uh, it's them that teach uh, these kids uh, these things because they are skilled and most of them are unemployed. So when you respond, you can touch uh, also on those issues. But I'll hand over to uh, the chairperson of the session so that he gives us his rules in relation to the session itself. Thank you. No, thank you so much, Chair. So, uh, colleagues, we are not spoiling what the Chair has done. The Chair has picked it back on the presentation and said, from the presentation, there are these issues. Whoever is going to speak, you do that. We are not opening a new debate. We are not starting from scratch. You were there when we were debating in Orlando. The responses have been provided. When you engage, say, but on this issue, you have not responded. Because there was an issue around, Chess makes an example about an arts teacher who's supposed to be te uh, teach, uh, teaching maths in school. Where now you can come up and say, but you also spoke about the swimming lessons or a soccer player that, the, we know they're struggling, most of our former soccer players. We spoke about it. That why can't we get a, an ex-professional soccer player being a coach in a particular school and stuff like that. What has happened to the program of school sports on Wednesday? We don't see it. We don't feel it. Don't start anything from scratch. I am here. We've taken notes. You start anything from scratch, I'm going to stop you. Do yourself a favor. So let me start on my left. Ah, relax. You are, relax, 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 relax. Let me start on my left. Colleagues on the left. Ah, ah, man, ah, 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 This is not a meeting. It's for everyone here. I'm saying I'm starting on my left. What's the problem with that? Colleagues on the left, is there anyone, or anyone from you, from the presentation, who wants to speak? Em chana wo me man. Awo me man. Ah, zela ngawe na la. Zela ngawe na la. We're not here for you. This is not a meeting. We're not here for you. Same people who are sitting here, they are here for the same thing that you are here for. What do you think we were? You are special than anyone else here. Colleagues, is there anyone from all of you on the left who wants to speak on the presentation that has been made? Is there anything that you have picked up that you think was not adequately responded to or you, want to, you just want to make a follow-up on what was discussed when we were in Orlando? My sister will be number one. My brother, you are number two. Yes. You are number three. Sure. You are number four. So no one is going to be provoked. You, know? you are not going to remember something because someone is saying something. Nzulile, nzulile. Rather raise your hand. Must figure out what, no, no, I'm covered by the latter speak. So that you don't come and say, hey. You know, I used to do that a lot in class. When they ask questions, I, I pretend as if I'm thinking. So that I'm thinking. All right. So only have four hands on that side. My sister, you are number one. Followed by my brother, number two. It's you, number three. And then number four is the gentleman here. Middle row. Is there anyone who wants to speak? You are number one. You are number two. You are number three. You are number four. You are number five. You are number six. Seven. Seven. At least it's answer. You are eight. You are eight. You are number nine. You are number ten. Ufage ngeskipa and then number when Ufage kept you are number eleven. Koning Ambuin. Or it's you. You are number twelve. Shoot Evala. Is also la. On this side, you are number one, you are number two, you are number three, you are number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
Ah ah, fifteen. Yeah, ko na tok takuma luarona. Fifteen. Yeah, sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen. So we have eighteen this side. We have twelve this side. We have four this side. So we do maths. Four plus twelve is sixteen. Sixteen plus eighteen is thirty. Thirty-four. So we've got thirty-four speakers that are going to speak. Because this is a meeting. We are going to give each and every one of you who is going to speak five minutes. Five minutes. We are going to time you. When it's up, it's up. If you finish before your five minutes, we can borrow the next person. It's up to you. But everyone has five minutes. We are giving you five because we want you to say anything and everything that you think was not part of the presentation. And you can use any language. Ngashaili sutu sako. Ngashaili spedi sako njongo ezra. It's up to you. Any language. But as you speak, please introduce yourself and the organization or structure that you are representing. Thank you so much. Good day to the house at large. My name is Maureen. Um, I'm just going to talk into connection with the previous meeting that we had in Norway. <laughs> Thank you. Number four is here. Dumelang, good morning. Uh, thank, you the, uh, thank you for the opportunity given. I'm from Tembisa. Uh, I'm a chairperson for Tuto Galaxy Sports. So we cater for football and netball, but we would like to increase our sporting codes. So adding on to the, to the point here, Modi Matawa Tadi Tadi into artificial turf. Concerning Agagore, who, like who, will be coordinating those programs? How will they be maintained? And who is responsible of uh, 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 getting the stakeholders in terms of uh, 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 maintenance of those uh, fields? Second of all. The kiosk is sports and recreation because of information in the sports and recreation is so minimal from social media to everywhere. We don't know who uh, help uh, And then on the ITP meetings, to access to information of those meetings, ideal because of mostly. We are dependent on the counselors and like the counselor did not problem saying that the body service deliver. So we have a direct, direct uh, access of those ITP meetings. And then lastly, we have sports, uh, education. It's 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 costly to 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 get a license. So we have a like department. Like the program, selling the Tusaka sports licensing, or the Hono Tolam service, the Kodi Kolong, even Loko 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 the suburbs, because of right now, sports schools selling sharp, kicking into like the Legit Kolo Telenko Telenko Tropong, the Kolo Telenko Kasi, I didn't access to basketball, swimming, and so forth. So, Horbanabaro Nabato Hono by educated in sports. We need to get them exposed to those to those sports in co uh, 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 sports codes. So, we can like a hobby, some sort of a high performance center whereby banabato bato are exposed to different sporting codes than football and netball. Or to honor ruta, most already calling within our townships with with the right license and the right uh, 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 mentality of training those kids. Thank you.
Hi, good, good morning to everybody. The name is Rani. I am for South African Police Force on the Social Development. I come from Actonville, Whiteville, and we have a serious, serious problem. I am here for help, and I need help or advice. Reason being because most of our sports facilities is vandalized. We've got beautiful sports facilities like the stadiums, the cricket uh, uh, places, and uh, the netball areas as well. Uh, we've got two or three uh, uh, high schools where we've got youth that finish matric now, and they're all on drugs. Most of them are on drugs. So we don't have sports. Sports has died off between Actonville and Whiteville. Kids are playing soccer, but they play on the streets. They play on the parks. So I desperately need help to help our people between Whiteville and Actonville. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Grace Ramasovani. I'm from the city of Swane. And uh, in the, where the chairperson was, said something about me asking for uh, the support to go to Milano Fashion Week. I'm representing the modeling industry. I'm a modeling coach, fashion producer. Fashion producers are not fashion designers. We're dealing with production or fashion shows. And then I'm also now into the film industry. I'm going to stand here only for the modeling industry. Every time in every meeting, I talk about this industry. OK, I didn't follow on my request with the department about my trip to Milano. Because the day I came here, I was in Soweto, but I wasn't well. And then the contacts they gave me, I lost them because I was very sick. So I'm still going to follow up on that. I want to touch on the issue of modeling. The house, you need clarity when it comes to the industry of modeling. Every time we come up with modeling, you invite us to this meeting, but we are not in your papers. Am I lying? We are not on the list. Every time we talk to you about the problems that you are facing, you send us to the fashion industry. Fashion is business on its own. The modeling industry is a sector on its own. Let me help you with clarity. Until you recognize the industry, you can never be able to regulate it. And it's the most dangerous sector. OK, what is modeling? In South Africa, we are in the fashion modeling, which is runway. The fit models are the sporty one. And then we've got house models, those ones you see in the magazine from size 30 to the plus size. We have got photographic, we have got beauty pageant models. And then, most of the time, even in an, on a national level of the Department of Arts and Culture, when you approach them about the issue of modeling, they would take you from pillar to post. But when Zozibini won Miss Universe, they were celebrating. What were you celebrating? It's like a father who abandoned a child before she was born, but she's there on the day of graduation. Where do you, did you know her from? You do not have. As the government, you do not have the right to celebrate any model who represent this country internationally. You don't have. I'm standing here and somebody who was nominated one of the best fashion models in Africa in 2017 in Cote d'Ivoire by the international diaspora called Prix Diaspora. My story was so painful. I went to the National Arts and Culture. They sent me to department, somebody who's dealing with Department of Arts and uh, who's dealing with fashion. She said we don't have the modeling sector in there. I went to the then the president ambassador of Cote d'Ivoire, the previous one. Mr. Kofi Jadan. He gave me 15000 for my flight ticket and everything at the same day, just because I was representing the Sadek region as one of the ambassadors in the Sadek region, representing his country. And I traveled to Cote d'Ivoire. I came back, they celebrated me. I went to the national, and then I asked them to come to the party in Hatfield in Pretoria. 
where it was celebrated by African 80% of African countries, they say, we can't go there because we're not there in the beginning, but I invited them. And I was nominated as the ambassador of peace in Africa. I couldn't travel all my responsibilities because of you, so you don't recognize us, but you, you, you celebrate us. What are you talking about? If you don't know something, why don't you ask us what it is? Even today you are sitting here. It's not there but on time, all the papers. Time, my time, time is five minutes. Yeah. The alarm is gone already. Okay. Thank you. Where are we participating as models? We participate in fashion shows, photographic, modeling, music videos, beauty pageants, magazines, art, paint, art painting. They paint on our bodies for photographic. Advertising is the only uh, sector that is paying us better. Promotion, film, and hostessing, etc. Why are we falling under the, 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 the department of fashion? The fashion industry is not well regulated. They don't even know how to price their clothes. How can we fall under them if they cannot run that sector? Can we please create our own sector? And then the most, in, the most dangerous part of our industry. Our industry is feeding the trafficking industry in the world, especially in South Africa, because South Africa is the playground. Because we are not regulated, there are invitations in all the countries. I travel in many countries in Africa. For there are people to leave their countries, to go and participate somewhere. They report in the Department of Arts and Culture. They say, I'm going somewhere. They search if it's real. But with us, we just go on our own. That is why there is traffic. In 2017, there was a young girl from Bloemfontein who was rescued in Malaysia. The then minister of police said they need to get into the bottom of that. No one was arrested. It wasn't even popular. The story was, it didn't go anywhere. And there is a very horrible story that is happening in Johannesburg. All the social media, there are people who are calling for photo shoot. Let me tell you, yo, these kids, when they say they are going to for photo shoot, they pay from 1200 to, uh, to around 3000 for photo shoot. The people who are running those scams are brothers from other African countries. When they get there, there is no photo shoot. They do the deeds with them. They record them for pornographic purposes. But they give them the money. They, they, from there, they threaten them. If you say something, we are going to post it on social media. Because the only person who is showing on the picture is the girl. The person who's doing it is not showing face. It's what is happening. Because there is no platform where anybody can go and report all these things. Because the modeling industry doesn't exist in the department. We are always here. And it's your children who are there. They are raped. Most of them fell pregnant. They were raped in Hillbrook. They fell pregnant. There was a girl who even has a baby today. Because of the rape that are happening there. And then you say modeling. You do not have the right to celebrate us. You don't know us. We don't belong in any of your papers. So the other thing is that we are invited in international participation, but we are not supported. In other countries, what they want, they want us to, to show paper that shows that your department in where you are coming from, is they give, we must give you the supporting letter to show that you know that I'm coming. Most of the time, we don't go. The one that I, 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 I spoke about the other day, I can't go to Milan, to my coded country, because I don't have a supporting letter from the department. Even if you don't give us money, give us the letter, the paper, simple, for us to go. We will hustle the man who are used to doing this. <laughs> and the last thing. From the city of Swan, I'm from the city of Swan, from the city center. Can you please help us? The city of Swan, local government, they took all the halls that are in the city. They say it's where they are hosting their, their meetings and their everything. We don't have a facility in the city center to run anything. You can even call them and ask them. Just disguise. Say you are somebody from Soshanguve or you are from Sunnyside. You want a hall to host the youth program. They will tell you, no, all these halls, they are reserved for the government meetings 
and everything. They took the city hall. They say he's the office of the mayor. Something big like this. What is he doing there? Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Before you start, né? let's just clear. You spoke more than 10 minutes and you allowed you to vent because I could see you are hating. And I would want to challenge you because, man, I don't like talking and talking and talking. I want, I'm, I want one person who understands the solution that I talk and talk and complain. You are saying, no, no, listen to me, sissy. I'm going to stood there and listen to you. The least you can do is to do the same. Sit there and listen to me. I'm saying to you, we listen to you for more than 10 minutes. Venting and venting and venting, which is not a problem. The challenge that I want to give to you, and I want you to use this committee with the challenge that I'm going to give to you, is that go and produce a paper. That speaks to what you are saying, because it's no need, there's no use for you to come here and complain that you are not being recognized, but you are not offering a solution. Produce a paper. Once you are done, Mulatelo and Pilila are here. Call them and tell them you are ready to appear before the committee. Come in and make that presentation to us as a committee so that we take that battle for you to the department. Simple as that. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Acting uh, HOD. Thank you, everyone. My dear creatives, my name is Martha Wahalukonyani. I'm an arts activist, I'm an arts administrator, and I'm an academic in the arts. Mine is just simple and sweet and short, just like my height. Um, I heard um, that you are recognizing sports academics. Um, I've been running an academy at the South, South African State Theatre for 25 years, empowering young people. And it's not only, I always say it's not only about myself, but it's about the arts community. Please recognize arts academies. We run quality programs, but we don't get any support. We have those documentation, let me tell you. We've got the proposal. We've sent from the department to whoever, a national arts council. But because of maybe we don't, are, are, we don't have an understanding maybe of what the programs, we are here. We want to guide you because an, a nation a, without skills uh, cannot participate at international platforms. We empower these kids with the right art skills so that they can compete with their European counterparts. And that will create more jobs. We've got a lot of, like for example in my academy I've got nine, I've employed nine uh, uh, um, but graduate from what TUT, they don't have jobs. They, they graduate in the air. They just don't have programs that are running to employ them. So I have this uh, uh, now burden on my shoulder to employ those young people. So please, I'm still saying that I haven't had, last time I was breathing fire. I'm sure you recognize my face. Today I'm calm, Kishap. So now I am still saying, can you please recognize arts centers? Let's make sure that they run quality programs. Let's support them. Because I believe skills development should be top on your objectives. Galebo, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Not there. Nice and sweet and short. Mohlweni um, Dumelan, I greet you all members of the uh, legislature, especially the both chairpersons, including the HOD and Lester Sahai. Liaga uh, is going to be very short. It's just two things. I think, uh, Honorable Mudise, you said Hore, we should also be able to say positive things if our government has done that. Kwenama. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My name is Morris Khoda uh, from Morris Khoda Productions. Ketakeleko M. Fulen, Go City Bank in the Val. I'm the managing director at Morris Khoda Productions. Um, I think, as I was trying to indicate, I'm going to uh, a remark on two issues. Uh, the first one, 
I want to commend the department for what they've done for our people, my people, Bako uh, Buipatong. When I went to Kohai, Koval, uh, I'm based in Jobek, but Likoval, Koko Buipatong. There were a lot of people, the community, they were complaining, especially Mashasipa from the Buipatong massacre. They will appear on TV, they'll go to radios, you know, dishing out the government, criticizing the government. I called them and told them that, Hore, I don't think that what we are doing, because I became part of them, that is productive. Rather, let's list all the grievances that we have as a community. The first one and the most important one that I want to thank the government, Kayona, it's when they spoke about the refurbishment of the graves at the Boipatom massacre. And I'm proud to announce today that, yes, our government does deliver, because as I speak to you, Chair, uh, there is proof here in case that Batubariki <laughs> Rekiwe, uh, where the graves are being prepared. There are the graves. So I'm very proud of what the department did. I think this part, it then said to me, because the department will always go to Shadville because of what is called Human Rights Month. Instead of the show, which it is normally done in terms of and they go back. How about if they should replicate what they've done, Kabuipatong graves? So then they can go and this particular time look at the grave star, Batubashabville, where it's necessary or they can renovate them and they just do exactly that because the people of Kabuipatong, they are very proud of what the government has done. I think that's the part that I wanted to commend the government about. But now I've got a, a serious grievance now as far as where my organization is concerned. For the past 24 months, HOD, we wrote a proposal to the department where we were speaking about the importance of Memire Makeba. The first South African and the first African who represented the continent at the UN, which was 63, 60 years ago. I would like to report now to the legislator today that the UN is doing something so beautiful, touching, where they are going to be taking Tabombeki School, Baba Isa Kokini, which is where May Miriam had her first house when she came back to the continent. So she's got the Talaba there. So Kadi 25th of May. Then the UN, including OAU, which Leona is celebrating 60th anniversary this year. They will be honoring Memire Makeba. But in my country, again, we've been pleading, talking to say, this year is such a significant year that let's honor the legacy and the memory of Memire Makeba. Sadly, um, up until now, HOD, I'm, I'm struggling uh, to get any leadway in terms of whether Gauteng will be able to participate with that because it is such a, a, an important milestone that as a country we cannot be found wanting. Ibelohori, we don't honor and celebrate Memi Remakeba, especially during this particular time period. But at the same time, there are always positives as well. When the new MEC came in, I did speak to her. Because we are also going to be having a memorial lecture, which is going to be on the 15th at the UNISA Hall. The MEC acknowledged and accepted the invitation of participating in that memorial lecture. But for me, that was from the good heart of the MEC, but not from the department itself. So as I'm speaking to Houting legislature right now, I was speaking about two things. One, in terms of saying, yes, political figures, they might have the heart of doing things and doing the right things, but do the official 
have the very same mindset in terms of delivering in that mandate that has been set by their principles? That should be the question to me. Because when I look at in the issues now, when it comes to the issues of um, um, major events, for an example, there was something major that is missing. These events that at the end of the day, there will be a call to say people, they must come out and submit their proposals. Most of them are not aligned to anything significant that the country has gone through. I'm going to use an example of that in terms of April, for an example. Uh, already the department has stipulated here that they are going to have submissions that are going to go out in terms of publications so that people can then submit. All that is going to fall outside the window period. And that April happens to be the most significant time period that this country we must celebrate because this freedom did not come cheap. People died for it. So, but if then the department itself cannot then be able to say, when it comes to April, how many activities around five regions of Gauteng that our people, minus one political program of government that happens at Union Building, we are talking about the people now of Gauteng. There is none that can be able to be accommodated because the department will be waiting for applications as well that they will be waiting for the adjudication of that. The same, the same mistake is happening again for NAC. They had the proposals coming out which again it kills off those two time periods, two important time periods, which is our freedom month and June and June month. So then, then you then ask yourself that as then the officials are sitting down talking about these things, how then can we not make sure that we align the activities that we do so that they can then be able to support the significant days in our calendars? So I, I, I think HOD, I want to appeal to you to say, and I'm glad that the new sheriff is in town. Regardless of all those things, Sahore, there are people who are supposed to be adjudicating because what then the department even do with that? Who to engage? Lincoln Spirit alone is a subcontractor to people because the very same people who to be independent, they are not necessarily independent because those people are organizers like me. How can those people be the people who are going to be able to judge? another fellow uh, a, a colleague proposal so just uh, the government must take responsibility so that when it fails then it's government that has failed not because of is my five minutes gone sorry okay oh, okay i think chairperson all what i am trying to appeal to government it was to say, yes, they've got systems in place, but I am saying those systems, they've got serious gaps. And in particular, I am saying, standing here, it cannot be that Ibilohore Freedom Month can never be accommodated in whatever that they are going to be asking people to submit. What are we then celebrating? Because anything and everything, it is supposed to be guided by who we are, where are we coming from? I thank you, Chair. Next to you, next to you, yeah. Uh, let me do this, colleagues. I don't want to, to stop you from talking, especially when you are engaging. Those who are still going to speak, I think we've got another 28 more to go. Just process your thoughts. Put them in an orderly form so that when you engage, you know number one, number two, number three, you are done. I don't want to say stop and all of that because it's rude. But also, let's try and respect others. We said five minutes an individual. Please, let's stick to the timelines. And the most important thing we requested from the presentation, what issues do you want us to follow up on? Simple. The presentation speaks of the following. These are the issues that the presentation did not speak to. And then we are able to move. Those are my leader. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, uh, Comrade Moody's. 
Eish, ano naki giant, ano batawa ba ba kusuani, ano naki batu tila kan tu singa tanyana, ano kaya wala ka limited ka na ako. But quickly, um, <laughs> uh, thank you um, to the portfolio committee, and I'm glad that the chair is so young. Uh, and Comrade Modisa is so young, so you know, this is what we want to see energy. <laughs> but I get over it, and Tom Bella in saying, God, I know it's our little manager in nine and come out of order. Quick one, um, Kikupa portfolio committee. Uh, okay, sorry, my name is Debokos Tatu. Um, those who don't know me call me disruptor, but I won't be disrupting today. Um, and then Kikupa Hori, you know, this portfolio committee and this department. To the issues of intellectual property. Um, and number one, we are dealing with the copyright amendment bill. And this is actually duplicating itself, our Shabako National. HOD, at the national level, we know in terms of government alignment is the DTIC that is a custodian of intellectual property in the country as a department. However, it is a subject that touches the creative uh, industry. And especially when you look at it from an economic point of view. But we have this tendency, unfortunately, um, I think it's a misnomer uh, where we look at arts for arts and culture's sake. For every time we speak of arts and culture in departments or uh, as government, we talk of it as social cohesion. It is beyond that. And we need to have inculcated this new understanding that there is a creative economy behind this sector. And, um, and artists should, uh, should not be uh, you know, struggling. Uh, when you develop them more as entrepreneurs and as, as MMEs. And I think Aus um, um, would understand, coming back from the Kelsita uh, background, understanding that you know, the intellectual property uh, is actually a, a driver for revenue. Aus is a complaint about modeling. You, uh, she, you know, and I agree with you, she needs to organize. Uh, the, the, the sector is a subsector. That really falls under media, if I have to give me my three cents worth, uh, but it's part of the creative industry. And because of you guys aren't organized, you need to organize and present that. I think I support that idea. Uh, because of government there is there to facilitate and give support. You are the practitioner. But I'm just, I'm just uh, uh, giving my two cents worth, but you can take it or uh, leave it. But quickly, coming back to IP, um, the issue of IP uh, are so critical that they drive revenue, it's design which that sector, yeah, the model falls under. Uh, it's part of that, even though the Babatri Ponabali one, but it falls under design. Uh, you have designers that are not been taught about how the revenue streams flow. Musicians, copyright, we're talking about the copyright amendment bill. Um, and I think you need to engage with your colleagues in the economic development who are leading that process because of their hearings currently. We don't want to be arguing over the copyright amendment bill. It's been too long. It delays all of us, those who are for and those who are against. So we need to come together, agree, disagree, and take out things that are making people very uncomfortable, like your fair use and, and other things, uh, so that we can all agree so the president can sign this thing quickly because of it affects all of us. Uh, but quickly, I want to also give my, in the, from the political spectrum, uh, my two cents uh, view on how we name, and, and it can start with the province and you can influence it national. Let's not change history, that's my view. <laughs> uh, June 16 is, is, uh, is June 16. Uh, so you see, if a child is born yesterday, and then uh, barely 10 years, uh, from, from 10 years from now, then you tell them about Freedom Day, or you tell them about um, Human Rights Day, they will not, they'll have to dig deep to understand how uh, people died go Shabville. So Shuffle Day, Shuffle Day. So way to uprising day, so way to uprising day. And I've made these points uh, uh, many a times because of I think whilst the idea is good, we want to unite people. We must also not change this. We must be careful of that. We are part of. We are charged with heritage in this country as a department. So we need to make sure that we are careful not to re rewrite history and then relate about Komorao. But lastly, because of time. Uh, I want to emphasize issue of intellectual property uh, because of now I'm a practitioner and Oski Tumets coming from Kelsita background, they will know. I, even when she was there, I was always banging on their doors about IP. Uh, and I think it's a very misunderstood or less understood subject. That is why it's not being supported, not because of people don't want to support it, but I think with the understanding that it drives 
the creative economy and also cuts across sectors. Uh, I think the department should really pay attention to that. Thank you very much. Sanbonan, uh, giving a little panel a legislature, giving a little HOD, uh, a quickly near Biza or So So Nibonaguti E, mine angzu kuluma izi ndezi ninga kulu Ningu sandra wagamgwenya Eplot 123 Low Fontaine I'm acting gu leadership ya Low Fontaine as a vice chairperson um, Mangi mela ngimele abantu anabe Low Fontaine Ngimele umpagatu wase Low Fontaine e, We raising our issue last time uguti asnama ground as nama equipment, as na magera banduana. We still sisese lapo, sikala lapo. But in his way, esinye iskulu miskulu malapia, mas bega information city, eh, gufanele ema activities ahambe via cancelar. Eh, nya kela panela, ninga si yisi le na le, nkela seseben zisane gube straight. Reason why, Eh, ni kuluma nga makanselari abantu abangeko active sila ananje manga kuluma i kanselari ya mguti iyaz gutingla ayaz so nanga biela emuva bekufuna guti si kulume amakiniso u kanselari akona mkone ugu mplek meila ala nginga mplek meili angeko because uzo bagwanga tingye mshleba so man kuluma ngo cancel ar niti fanele suwe kailu cancel ar yama activities avaya yena. It's a set word. Ika ma elip shungu lelu. Si shalago informal settlement. It's been 15 years now. Manga kuluma ngo cancel ar ngo cancel ar ngin penje iku. Cancel ar uye waba kona naga kweta uketwa abege estuweni on the, I don't know much. It was much last year. So, magaika to beggars to learn up until today, as yaz meeting ya kays too. As maz no gumbona, as was in shook tola a proof of rest. So, if Ukumanga cancellor, Sikala Simbegalin aside, number two, Ntokela Nina, Ugutin Sugume la Petit Tulen Lanfield Court, Nivagashele Ilo Fontaine, Nano Magui informal settlement, Senior Pega Guti. Labantwa na labangbona si bakale la gutifanele batole makere bakone kutole makraunda raiti bakono kutlala bakono kutuma babi ya skolweni bakwazi kutipa yotlala babi ya bau stadisha banga nani si anikela lapo nsuge lapoge nize giti nizo kono kubona tukwenza galala si bazali tinabanyi asebenzi asna income leyo senti efigayo utolo kutisbegu kutleta fleni asna mali ya matata asna mali ya email so then si anikela guti Maninga bugi indawo ezi pezulu. Maninga bugi indawo lezi nge malogishi na masaba apu so ever. Come to us. Nati siya ndinga. Nati siya watinga la maservices le nwapa la babantu la bagu masaba apu. La babantu la basa lokshin. Nati singa bantu. Siya tinga gun bona tuze nati. Siya tinga gun recognize. Uguti nyeza giti. Nia siya nbona gutika. I government in I easy legiti. All those nema formal settlement, please. Gian Kela, Nkela Gutinize Elo Fontaine. Like his palenje in what it yesterday. We write a letter yesterday to MEC, MEC. So we send those ama complaining to it in apology. As Konanga Bala in time because of Singba Zali Lessing as a bins. Abantana bet Bangena matracks. Abantana bet Bangena in Tunisia wrong. Abantana bet mat trafficking yonge land. So nia kela government. Kama iko kobeito. Nia kela guti. Sugan la pe officin. Ni zegiti. Ni nga shayonga ma eko. Ni kazo tema okeni. Ayan and ayan shana pon sebenza gati. Wasan giti sinbo na guti. Nia sebenza. Sinbo na tisa sebenza. Thank you very much.
Sanbonan, um, all protocols observed. Um, I'm an activist in the music industry or creative arts fraternity as a whole. And uh, I run a structure of Imbogoto in music. And uh, I run a company called 80s Live Joy. Uh, last in, in, uh, in Soweto, I raised a point, Yoguti. Uh, there is no business like showbiz. And, uh, and uh, I raised a point, Yoguti, uh, a minister of arts and culture has a criteria of a legend, a living legend, which needs to be corrected. Uh, and I, I raised the point to go to uh, uh, the, mu the musicians of the 80s were mainly uh, the ones who stood fast when others were in exile and others were not even born in the creative arts fraternity. And I didn't hear anybody speaking of those issues. And uh, I would raise a, a point to go to a Gisho Ganjan Linda, in the 80s, uh, the music business developed the economy of this country and sustained it. Uh, we had a cultural boycott in the 80s, which was supported by everyone black, pink, yellow, green, and white people in the creative arts fraternity. Uh, Oprah Morris would witness that. And uh, our history is being distorted. I, 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 I'm not going to stop preaching this era. The era of the 80s is the era that served the needs of the society. The era of the 80s, musicians of the 80s re, uh, freed this country. They served the needs of the society. They even went to an extent of uh, 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 fronting for our political organization. But we cease to be forgotten. When we talk of, the, of, of, of a legend, legendary legacy, you should start with us before, you know, and actually, Abu Mamire Mageba, Abu Mamleta, they are veterans. We are the legends. We are the living legends that are supposed to be taken care of. We can create jobs for the now generation because our history is so vast. And nobody has written our history in an appropriate way. Our history is distorted. I even said, even last week, But all I'm trying to say, my, my leaders, my leaders, there is no business like showbiz. The music business industry or creative arts fraternity as a whole if our government can invest in it, I'm, I'm repeating this again, if it can invest in it and make sure that we write our history, it's, it's part of literature. That can be, our history, is part, it's, it will be part of literature that can be utilized in schools and teach these kids to own their rights and not, sub, and not sample digitalized works that are owned by other people who do not know them, who do not even care for them. So please, and we have a proposal. I am working with the young ones. I'm working with young lions and young lionesses about our history. We need to write our history. We need our documentaries. And I have a proposal. And I'm going to make sure that today I'm giving it to you. Because this proposal has been there with the minister from 2018 up to today. It is about intergenerational collaboration. Thank you. No, Thank you so much.
how do you even speak after a legend? <laughs> it's, a, it's an honor to be standing here and uh, to share uh, uh, my inputs and humble greetings to the Portfolio Committee and to the Gauteng Department of Sports, Arts and Culture, uh, all protocol of that. So my name is Eddie Ngomane. Um, I serve on the CIFSA Ekuruleni as a regional secretary, uh, also a member of SCAI. So um, the points that I want to raise um, is they are very brief, five points. Uh, firstly, I just want to commend uh, Gauteng Film Commission for, for, for the work that they're actually doing because I'm standing here as one of their beneficiaries, uh, beneficiary, uh, through the, the, <clears throat> the documentary that we are on the verge of producing. Uh, it's a story based on, on gender-based violence. It's called Seguanele. And somehow, uh, through the engagement that I've had with the department, and it's just to, a request to say how can our work be exposed uh, internationally, uh, taking advantage of the international film festival that are hosted. So maybe uh, after hearing what you, you are saying there, maybe I will have to f do a proper presentation to see the work that we have already produced so that you as the committee can be able to assist further. So that's the first point. Two, uh, the major events, uh, I, I, I wanted to tell it about the overall budget. I think so Mina, Mina, self, 
gikala nguti nkelu sizo kutala nkala ngu sizo lo kuti nkelu abantu wana abana ground abantu wana abala keri abala transport abala nix asilda angzali kwa ya misaiti kwa zangina i ground kwa se ntavele ukuti abantu wana bae zala enda angenzeli ukuti ngezela ukuti abantu wana labo babe ngenyi nito kusasa sababu onebe is something else tomorrow niya travel ukutravel ngwenza yu kikamba nge nyao Gihamba isbang ukuthi mangisuka ku Elu Fontaine ngisiyafika endaweni ukuthi ngiphakathi kwemamelodi ngiyabe ngikhambe indlela yokuthi nawe wena mangungayicheka ayivuma ukuthi ngahamba umntwana ona 6 years but siyatraya sithi maybe sizothola usizo kodwa usizo asilithola thank you Dimela why me mwoke athali ya mthapo from Lufontein Ward 93 eh ke tlo lla ka taba ya di ground last time iri tile ko so wethu o ka re ne di 11 or di 10 of november ke lla ka ground eh ke na team this is the ground Eba naba practice ya moyona and ba register ile under malfa kena under 11 13 15 17 le women women ko open so ba naba ra ka mo grant ni and i'm the head of women's league ya mamilori association i'm the second deputy chairperson ya mamilori football local football association mar just look at this Just look at this. Have a look at this. From last year November, le promise to let am phone la just a call. No one one phone ching. From last year the 3 of April. Ke bolala le cancela. E no le bolala ngo re cancela ke ana di lo di to via via the cancela. Ke bula tlana from last year di 3 April ka this grounds even today as we beg mun ke tswa le di office in Jerusalem ka this ground even today a go na bo letseng se lolo nna ke tswa go tshwane house even today a go na William beg mun nna and ke re le di follow up so today i'm standing again yeah go hopela fela e caterpillar just like caterpillar ke na le nwa ga o tlhe go hopela caterpillar di jo tsere di phekileng ka montletse di feta e diesel ya le ka tshelang ka re caterpillar just for once a year to clean a or really clean this ground a ke le le silivere le ga uta a ke re nyake a ke nyake ger a ke nyake ball ke ta di reka ke lela fela khathapila once a year eh to bona ka ntlo eh afternoon everyone my name is lucky mateta eh uh, from orange farm local football association uh, we fall under region g johannesburg so um with regards to the to the agenda of the the feedback from today um we tata ba rena gore orange farm rena le di corridors but the messages eh uh, uh, information is not shared uh we have corridor by matsepo mposo um, uh like himatet and 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 some uh, uh, their colleagues uh the problem gore we do proposals Uh, I was I was also frustrated like Mayor Fetsao show last year I even wrote an, a, a letter to the ME, to the former uh, MEC Mbali uh, shop and then uh, Miss Rose uh, was even part of that uh, 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 engagement uh, even till this day since last year come May we engaged but the problem was the protocol or who to, who, who to to go to when when we seek those services so kelebela or ka jeko re thotse hod uh, uh, the new sheriff uh, uh, 
se re skopang re kopa fela di di contact details tsa 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 that the head of corridors because these guys they come to the center or to the head office and take those equipment ka di letter tsa rona and go sell those those equipment collocation and they even sell to the clubs who are not under the structures so uh, the league the official structures we are not supported since last year may since last year may we fall under this gp gp has as good and and in a little how to province in a little in a little program in Klehampe. i was attending a, a medical aid last week it was it was it was provided by Gauteng province but the information we got it later around 7 pm the program starts the next day so my colleagues Barlingara the sporting court we have netball colleagues volleyball colleagues but they didn't they didn't even know what there were such programs so our problem is not the government our problem is the official who are supposed to give us those services they are not rendering those services to us so ke kopa hod ka je ko le re thuseng ka those ka di contact people be lo reng ke bona ba tshwereng di corridors tse then so that all of them ke represent the all the sporting coach di lengo range farm ne so that even a ke ba tlo kena ko agriculture ke ba tla wela fela this part this sporting coach so ke kopa le re feng di contact details because complaining, complaining, we have documents that are complaining. We were even intending to write again to the current MEC again this year. So I think if uh, some of our complaints and our proposal, today, forward uh, today, Ms. Melissa Rose, I'm, I am going to forward uh, our proposals, which we have been submitting since last year, but there's no response because our corridors are nowhere to be found. Thank you. San monani ngumam nomvula ngibuya ekatle hong at center ngisebenzela khona ngisebenza ngabantwana ba disability and epileptic and i'm also suffering from epilepsy yeah abantwana mabafika ku21 at disability school bayangibiza ukuthi bazongintroduce ebazalini ngoba beba reject abantwana mabafika ku21 years so bang introduce eba zalini bese baba tumela gimi kodwa u government yakang tateli ekanda nye kushikuti nye asanya nye angpili nje angfana unku mundu ene ange eke sibe otisha sonke sibe aboloya sonke unku mundu unkulunkulum talele into yake ene isi nte zenzi waila bantwana I now at the hotel and you go in the logo. Our problem is marketing. And then I'm a social worker. Our yen zoom seven zwa wo. I figure Angela, I check my mistake. At the place is not suitable for for Labanto and Laba. Kabanga from 206, Uza was suitable until when? Labanto and Abasuka attended from 8 o'clock until 3 p.m. every day without benefit from government. Kantiini e right ku government. Isteti mau kuluma ikriniso au na gegele kushukuti fune ku kulume amanga ba attendi mau kulumi ikriniso ni tinkatelo winda basika government ene lava basi nzaku ku government yibo amamene mene yibo amamene mene mina nkatelo kabanga from 2006 and until now nothing. Any tola from government. I'm tired now. Namanje umuntu semsana no musisi. Umama umtana mauta angezi elo. Eskolen uchu wai. Mwa na we am sinda lumtuana. We am sinda foyena. Umtana u enjoya magalapa. Mina fanelem patale lo sisilo msana nai. But nothing from government. Government ganti yini ngani. Nikatele, Nikatele, Mamma Bunin in Yana, El Gurulen, your Nanfuno Gibon. Anfuno Gibon, Gurulen Nikatele, Nkala Usizo, and a monk Mantole in Dow. 
abang tatende kanda mina ene ikona na manje ayisebenzi kukhona security lapha egedini ay ne gardening bese ngayenzi bengeke ngiyinxele nemali zenu labantwana baphiwe bese sizozenzela imarketing jina ngokwethu siyacela abantu eyi angeke sibe othisha sonke na uNkulunkulu kwabele ukuthi usuthebuli for kuphi ngicela usizo sisebenzele at center for every day monday to friday without benefit ngicela ni season senkathel Um, my name is Mpon Katling. I'm based here in the inner city. So you guys are in my territory today. I think before I start, I just want to commend the work of uh, the MEC. And I want to especially say Usfiso Minis has really been doing a lot of good work. We are not buying any face. If we have to fa fight, we'll fight. But if there's good work being done, we must say so. Thank you so much, Usfiso. Um, I also just want to say we, we, we talk about issues over the industry, but until the industry is regulated and we look at the issues of legislature, leg, this legislative issues, then the industry is not going to be sustainable at all. The Acting HOD was raising issues that there's about 16 people that didn't get their granting aid because they don't have this and this and this. The last meeting we had before I made the noise was that we need arts administrators. A lot of creatives, I know, can attest to that, that they're not good with paperwork. They struggle with financial management. They struggle with compliance. They struggle with applying. That's why funding always goes to the same people, because it's the same people that are stronger at their applications. The issue of the arts in school, um, acting HOD, we heard it. But now, this issue of creatives being on stipends and EPWP is not sustainable. Muntum Tala Holy Stipend doesn't make sense. I'm in the space where I run CETA programs and kids are moving from one stipend program to the next. It's not sustainable. So, as I said the last time, train the trainer is an important CETA program that has to be implemented for everyone who's going to be going to arts in school. But it's also up to arts and culture to speak to SACE, which is the South African Council of Educators, so that that train the trainer uh, program is good enough for them to go teach in schools and get paid a teacher's salary because you are a teacher at the end of the day. Uh, Honorable Mudisi, in, uh, the issues of operational space is a problem. Yes, we've, we, we, from the past weekend, we were at the um, Art Center elective uh, conference, but the issues of operational space for the creative industry are a big issue because every other industry has a building that they get given to. Why do we still have to struggle? I am having a situation where I've got a program for 55 young people, approved. But I can't start because where I'm operating from is owned by Gauteng Province Economic Development. But because of my political affiliation and because of the assets I have, it's been locked. I've spoken to a few people and, and nobody's doing, do you guys want us to take things to the street and go bend buildings? You know, it's, I can't start the program and I'm at the verge of losing out on this program. And then, the issues of distribution is also a problem because as filmmakers, you can make, you get funding from GFC, from the NVF, and then what? You sit with your product, you put it in the fridge, you put it wherever. You can't put your film in a fridge and wait for it to chill until, you know, the issues of distribution are a must, especially when it comes to the SABC because it's a public broadcaster. Why is it giving more buying content from overseas when we are here with content and it's supposed to be making us money? And I'm just going to touch a bit on IP, but just the, the lobbying of um, the reinstatement of IP. And I'm hoping that the CEO of GFC would be able to also 
really speak to you guys about it. They need to be, you guys need to lobby and speak to the seaters and say the COSA IT, IP has to be regulated so that we understand what intellectual property is. We need to understand it fully. And lastly, um, I've been also raising the issues of changing of legislature, especially the taxation of the creative industry. We get taxed the most, by the way, if you don't know. You get taxed the most, but we've got the smallest budgets. And also declaring our industry as an SEI, a social economic industry, I've been, I've been making noise. If you do that, that means our tax will be decreased, but it's also going to encourage international and corporate funding so that we don't always come and knock for 40,000 kolona. And then, okay, yeah, uh, just two more short points. Also to lobby that the creative industry needs its own CETA. Um, the creative industry currently sits on five seaters. And with publishing, sitting, go seater, yeah, fiber processing and manufacturing. I don't understand how publishing got there. So if it's you as politicians can go and lobby and say the creative industry needs a seat of its own, we cannot be sitting at five seaters, really industry A1. It makes absolutely no sense. We are misunderstood. Um, and then lastly, I've heard a lot of issues that, are, that need a lot of intergovernmental uh, relationships. Government, please work with each other. We, when somebody's speaking about an issue, a councillor, Liholo, you can say to, me, to them, I, I get it again in Nam province. That's a, that's a local government issue. Or they said, please, can you guys, you guys, Lady Cho, Miman, after, after hours, can't you guys do something? Can when I speak to you, I know I'm speaking to my councillor, I know I'm speaking to the minister, I know I'm speaking to the DTI, I know I'm speaking to the NDA, to the IDC, you know? It makes things easier because you are closer to us. I literally walk to you guys. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, Paul, for speaking in a, such a short version of your minutes. First if I must let me thank uh, the program director, Chairperson, through you Chair. My name is Zwangendava Spaman Lamjali. Um, you are in my in my territory also I'm from the inner city. Um, first if I must let me say uh, oh the program director has just run away. So <laughs> Uh, Chair, through you, Chair, uh, we are not always going to agree with the program director when it comes to his views where he's starting. Let me just address that because we are not always like water. We don't go in one direction. Some of us, we might want this side, some they might want that side. But I apologize for my uh, misbehaving uh, previously. Uh, let me thank the GFC for supporting my project. Uh, also, let me thank Usfiso with the MEC and the Department of the MEC, the new management of the, M of the, of the province of Houghton Arts and Culture. They, they have enabled us, those who, who were previously disadvantaged and being closed doors by Obombali, we did not get those opportunities. But now with the GFC, we are able to, to say we are ready to go to production with our projects. And thank you very much, GFC, for supporting us. We will always be there for you. Uh, Chairperson, I'm actually going to move you today. Sorry to say so. Uh, there is a problem regarding the funding. I don't know if you do understand that you, the funding that you're giving the GFC, it's very small. When you're giving GFC 43 million, it means now they have to take 20 million into their uh, salary. Uh, budget, which is it leaves the, it leaves them with the 23 million. The 23 million is not good enough to support all the provincial projects. Can you please, please, please review your 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 your, your minutes on a previous budget that was presented by the MEC of Finance? And I did not see on the on the document that it speaks about. It does not speak it speak about arts and culture on the document. I don't know if I, I've got the wrong minutes. Or I'm, I've got the right ones, but the ones that I have here, they don't say anything about 
arts and culture, arts and culture per se, or a film sector or anything else. They just goes to healthy and public servants and whatsoever stuff. But it doesn't say anything about arts and culture. Can you please, please, please review that before they implement the second, uh, the the first quarterly of the year? Please, Chairperson, I ask you. And then, I think, um, I think I'm done. Um, Dumelang. Okay, we do like a game to this is day. Uh, I'm a makeup artist and also chairperson here, Black Dahlia Girls Netball Club. Netball Club. Um, get to go for slurs. Go is rent. Um, I've heard you have stated, um, some of the clubs, uh, in the East Rent, I would also like to be recognized because we have already started with the netball um, paperwork because we've recognized that we only have soccer, so we don't have uh, netball. Uh, we have engaged with the schools around our areas and then we have, in, in that issue of uh, educators who don't know anything about sports or arts and culture. So we're engaging in that and we'd like to have an assistance uh, in terms of educating the learners about sports, arts and culture because it's so sad to find that when kids are getting out of high school, they'd rather engage in body, uh, human resource. But when you find out that kid is not, it's a sports person. But there is nothing in the school that uh, caters for, for sports. So this is what we're engaging in. So we need assistance. So for us to be believed, because we're working with people who are educated, uh, which are the teachers, they want to believe us. So we need the, the we need kids. We need kit like uh, for the kids to like when we go and engage, or when we go to approach them, we need uniform. We need to be presented. So we need assistance uh, from that. Uh, and then the body carrier guidance, because we have people who can who can uh, teach the kids on sports, the rules of the sports, and what to eat and all of that. So in, in that manner, there's a lot, a lot has been said. So this is what I, I want to say. And we also have, we also had that there's um, World, uh, World Cup or tournament for uh, netball that is going to be July, August. So we want, to, we need to go there because we want to learn more, uh, and then we are, so that we come and, and implement everything that we have to learn. So we also need to open an office so that we are, we work professionally. So we also work with kids certificates and all of that. So this is what we're going to need. So we already approached the the department and we already are busy with so we need an assistant to push on the right direction so our company is uh, black dahlia girls netball club thank you uh, Tala baby zana bato la ban bet bangu onerevu na tsungu onerevu ntombe la namsha. Eh ba fetu mina ngi zuba mutega kulu ogo kala ngzo bonga eh upu sfisomnis eh usfisomnis u active gule department ga ga MEC eh nganga uba wenza show guti if masfuna ma meeting do MEC wenza show siawatol. 
Gipinde Ngongo Marisa. Marisa Rose is very active that woman. Ungsi Zile Gakulu. Joe Mto Kichima Onjemina. Funa Spangu Melo Feta Bad Laben Zekona Gat. It's not Charles Bakora every day. Now Mte Zekona Spangu because local so bakutas with Benz of Nono for Tuguna Lokabunzi. And then a cool Marisa. And then Bessa School Menda Benu Wuti Yomanje. Sabona. As Nagagel when it comes to Imsebens, it's in a bunch of sports. A Gunalama community working program. Yaz to short term. Got Nani create any squads. Would you see the coach, a colleague in his training and the school, a squad of Sebens. Dana Manju means to cool him in sports in school. So, Sia Elu would in that squads go Sebens, squads of Pilas, not in the granting eight, a Puma one say. Thank you. Gogan perform that. My coach. Bes funu kuluma 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 ne ne nda wazo kusebenze la bafuetu inki na kuhulu aiki kampani wazo kuni gima ali mwa ikitra su tushala gop ne gu tushala ekona taka ni raymas besi beti beti chote agno office muzo muntu lo yabo sekta yelo guti umas pala njoo bumbwa tesh guti ni nani nato ezama official na ni wazo kuluma ni nato guti umas pala ni wazo kuma na mea mea unama pili ni ngamanga gaga na sebenze. Can you see the Ama artist in the sports? Baba is building one. Baba is operating professionally. So, as good artist on the website, Naila is on the phone. It's the office in. Taba, I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going to be able to cook in. I'm not going
he, we are coaching kids whereby uh, parents they don't care. I'm sorry to say that. Uh, uh, parents. Okay, okay, all right, yeah. Some parents, they, they don't care. You take a child, we are humble, and I will venue. I ask you to go to the land. It's just we are too many. I'm not sure I'm going to go to the next. You must see to eat as a coach. You're going to go to the next. 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 But I saw one and man figure. I couldn't have to travel as an injury in which is really late. Ganga and none. So that's the issue of e transport. So good name that was a camps. So in short, uh, I would like just to be engaged after the meeting. Good to know since I'm coming from the federation so that we can present a fantastic present. Goes on getting Kalanga San Banani Okulma Yobusi from Zanzi National Arts Forum. Because now, even now, people are addressing their issues like real issues. We are addressing our issues to wrong people even now. Because now we're having an acting HOD now. Next time when we meet, we will meet another acting uh, HOD. Meaning we put our problems in a basket, in a leaking basket. Department of Sports, Arts and Culture, stop playing with us. Stop gambling with people's lives. Maybe to you it's a game when we are here. Maybe. I don't know. But to us it's a loss. We stop everything. We come here. You disrespect us. By keep promising empty promises. You don't keep your weight. We don't know whether you, you are writing our concern or not because we have serious issues that you always telling you but you don't come back to us. Like one, the funding of, uh, of uh, granting aid and the others. We requested that because of you are giving us little money every time instead of 150 as you always claim I don't know how many people are getting the 150, but most people are getting lesser, even lesser. Now you're saying if an organization career, it's not a playground. For the fact I'm saying this, if you go to the office of the Department of Arts and Culture, that space, it doesn't represent us as artists. Me, now, if I was given an opportunity to do an interior design there, there would be like, Screens playing, shows that are upcoming, sport fields that are going to be having matches, so that when you get to the space, you are revived. Even in the minister, it's my chair, when you get to your office, are you revived to go to Seven Zeli Arts or Esports? So let's start there. Let's take our office up there. Very, very personal. Let it be beautiful. Because even when I go for the interviews there, I don't feel like I'm going to the head office. I mean, give me a hub. So, I can go by a chairperson. Try it, try it. I go by department, I rejoice, I hear it. The application is wrong. I did it wrong, I hear it. Five years, I stay a fellow, I get 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 a ancestor in the arts. I can take a fellow for the applications. Number two, in our last meeting, I get a fellow, I get a fellow, MEC will have a mandate, I hear it. Recopane relevasadi and ritualedi challenges and come up with solutions. Tahore, how can we better our sector as women? So we did that. We designed and created a document. Rasende la PA ya MEC. Rasende ka imele la le. Ra imele la le MEC. Recopa a meeting len as we houten women in arts. But till this day, odula al unavailable. So Mr. Acting H O D ka recopa tuwe tuwe. Rukopa hobali meeting as Houten Women in Arts le MEC warona. Ho ridin tuza ridi laba laba lang es basadi di be implemented because all we want is success and growth in the sector. Rekasi dule rinza re rimo la di di documents ridi challenges sarunaki ite ritali di solution 
Harib kata hu dieta, harib kata hu kwa panya, reba ngata elu ngur leba saidi, ebe halo rinke li shoho. Hobani, most of the time, when we come up with our challenges, lere, hala kwa pana, le arohani kwa pana, but this time, ru kwa pana, impaluna, hali rife attention. Rieti juang, kao sa ingi bature, haa, uma laika ka sebenz, uma rina ka sebenz, bante wari kiti kiti ambasada, 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 but they are not doing anything. But nita ili huri, realita kama ata huri. Rikopa nili MC Mar, hau kona hali. Rakopa acting HOD. Kikopa after this meeting, orefe email ya hau. Ilifu namba ta hau. Nali morin ruto kona huru kontakta na luena. Rebeli meeting luena. Rebeli way forward. Rebeli di programs. Tiko benefita women in arts. Khauteng ena kaufel. Ribata hu hula. Haribata hu dependa hu banna. Ribata hu iketa ita. We have talent. We are gifted. So come on to our Kalebuha. Who's next? Wait. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jakob Kutzer. I'm from Goat Sport, is uh, Brackby. Um, so first of all, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. I walk in the office of um, Miss Rose, and she's tired. I can see the bags on her eyes, um, and it's not her fault. I think the process is a problem. I think the process of implementing programs is a problem. I think the, and, and we're, all, we're all putting it on, 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 not just her, I'm talking about the fifth floor there and the fourth floor. Because of systems that's not in place, the system that says, appoint a service provider. So I spoke about this before. Appoint a service provider and let them do the program and run the program. They've got nothing to do with our sport, they've got nothing to do with our arts, uh, but they get appointed, they get paid double the money that it's actually worth. So I'm asking, enable these people to do their job because they are doing an excellent job. They are doing an excellent job. Use the Sport Confederation. That should be the service provider. Not somebody that comes from somewhere and then after they deliver the program, they are, they, you'll see them in the new Mercedes-Benz. I think it's unfair. It's unfair against the department, and everybody's fighting against the department, and it's not the department. It's the system that politicians are putting in place and protocols that needs to follow. So money doesn't get transferred to the Federation. The Federation is capable of doing the job. Okay, so, and again, I challenge everybody, I just, Again, thank you for the recognition. Got Administrator of the Year this year. I challenge you, I think there's a lot of issues that we can deal with if you talk to me. I think we need to, as federations, share knowledge, um, share experience. So I challenge you, um, contact me. Some of these issues is simple to, to work out because you need to know who's the people on the ground that actually do the job. Um, so I challenge you. Um, you can contact me, um, so uh, we'll make the, the details available. I have no problem. I, I want to share, I want to give back to the community. So, because I received the reward for administration, and I think that's where we lack and we need. I have knowledge, I can share it. I'm not going to ask you money for it. Okay, so... Legislators, um, I'm asking the question again. So last year, we had a meeting. Um, I had four girls telling their story. Four girls that money was stolen from because of a service provider. It's now a year later. So 25 February, that's when the money was paid out to the service provider. A guy from Limpopo um, ran away with the money. Um, I'm not going to say the amount. But still, to the day, we do not have an answer. 
Um, I think it's unfair. Uh, and again, like I said in my speech when I received the award, it's not my story. It's the story of a girl that was raped in the township. And we gave her a home. We gave her an opportunity. She's now a junior Springbok. Um, Windmill Park, there's Ayanna Malinga. She's playing for the Springboks. So she comes from your community. So there's a way that we can get people out of the community. Um, so money was stolen from, from, from ladies that went through tough, tough times in their lives. And isn't that gender-based violence again? If we allow that, if we allow a service provider to run away with money. So again, it's not the department's fault. It is legislation that's put in place that everything must go through service providers. We're wasting money, we're wasting talent, um, and we enrich other people. So I think, again, people, there's some issues that you have that is small. I've been through this, and I've been fighting through this all the time. I'm prepared to assist you and help you just to connect with the right people because funding is a problem. Funding will always be a problem. Municipalities do not have enough staff to look after, after um, fields, etc. But there's a way that we can work together. As a rugby as a code, as football as a code, we're not competition. We're, we're looking at the different people. Uh, we, we cater for all shapes and sizes, and I think if you're a good football player, you're a damn good athlete and fast. There's just two places for you there, 11 and 14 in rugby. But if you're a little bit bigger, then there's more there's space for you as well. So I don't think we compete against each other for the, for, for, the, for the same athlete, but we can share knowledge. And I'm prepared to share my knowledge. Um, so my contact details will be made available, and I will be able to help. Um, because some of these issues are just small issues. You just need to connect with the right person. And again, I want to thank the department um, for working hard. Uh, under very, very difficult circumstances. Um, and I think they need, to be, they need to be looked after well and give a better tool, a better vehicle to get the funding to the right people. So my question still is, uh, where is our funding? Uh, colleagues, I have a request to make. I know it's you, a cap. Yes, I know that I know who's supposed to speak. We still have six more to go. But there's a request that is made to the chair. Oh, no, it's fine. Let's continue. The HOD needed to be somewhere because but they they wanted his attention. But he says no, it's fine, he will send someone else on his behalf. So it's you, Asen Zeganj, it's you. So that the people remember themselves. It's you, and then who and Gamla, and then yeah, yes. When we are the last speaker, when we are the last speaker, you are number 18. Yeah, uh, now uh, yeah, sure. It's you. Coming out here, April. Yeah, it's you. Now I will tell this keep us read. Sharp. Continue, Tom. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Gregor Mkavela, representing Africa Umoja, Tutodi Bali, and Steve Sir John Uh I would like to thank Uma Shudu from Central Corridor and Usia for the support they gave us on Sports Bras for our women football team. Thank you very much. We received that. And uh, we're still waiting for the training kit. I think you can do better. Uh, again, to Marisa, uh, on the 28th of February, we had a, a swimming gala at uh, Dobsonville where uh, we were helped by city of Johannesburg. Uh, unfortunately, it was not enough. So right now, we have another gala that's going to happen on the, on the, uh, sorry, it's going to be on the 25th of March at Dobsonville Swimming. Uh, we, we, we're struggling. I don't want to lie. We're struggling. We would like to get assistance. Our priority would be transport. As you know, so it is a very big, uh, township so we've got people coming from all different areas like you've got your Jabavu, Snawane, Mletane, Mabitla so we're facing a very difficult uh, 
challenge when it comes to transporting our athletes to come for training sessions because mostly our facilities sometimes you'll find what you pull air say my air aina chlorine umas palaga letangi chlorine so athletes cannot uh, practice so we have to take them from there to pinville and that costs money so if we can uh, get assistance in that and again if we get can assistant in terms of uh i'm assuming caps i'm a speedo i'm a spectacles because of i mean swimming there's chlorine there's chemicals used in the pool so we need a uh, protective gear for our athletes to compete so i would like to invite them to come and witness for themselves on the 25th of march at dobsonville and again thank you to usia and mashudu from central kodiro for the support uh we're hoping to get more support from them thanks the invite is for when oh 25th okay Uh, ang bengeleli committee, bengeleli na department, bengeleli na mga colleagues wet from we sport na we net na we arts. Uh, Ika mangu chon wawam kumbu this bong. Uh, Konalai rich in F, a what one one eight. Uh, ang bong ay kakulo guti ni snigas ele platform guti si wazo guti si engage na ni ni department na no guti ni committee. Oko kalanje uputi bese penduli bese eche ugujule pointi ni pointi le le kole zu 72 ezi identify iwe ekhaute. Uma uti maybe singakka ilu uti u angazi nomo eche uti basche ilu uti kwi chohani spek richin how many schools eswane how many schools ese dibeng how many schools e west rand how many schools e guru lene how many schools so that we know uguti zon izi pilezo ikole. Then we saw go by issue ye EPWP abo zago ite ba kulumenga ay. In the way stipend u u MEC the previous MEC u u MEC u u shop o umbali shop uge wa kulumenga ay osise osise Johannesburg Stadium before ama grant we e relief grant ye corona. And when each other go to make a good feedback, who can see the good or good tangible? I said to I said to tell and I like grand because it gets a cool man I before. No, by intense guy, maybe sing I under sing I as. Who go to? Who ma who tata um zali? Who tata who teacher? Who tata who coach? Then he social ills as we call them parenting way to. This is a pain because these kids they respect our coaches. So, iyon ang tayo kufayin luto niya azu, luto ibalo legi yun leyo. Uwaka isisi. Then, i inda wase na kosa na sa ITP for ama facility, ama sport facilities or arts facilities. I ITP it's a win-win situation because kuya ngo luto ni banga agulo what any attendee leyo ITP. Kwa sinis ka tapagu zo bakche luto no i pache tingane. Asi zukuwa zukavarisha wonga mawata kona echo hanispe. So, uma wukutu kungenza wukuti nani as a department. Ni cheko wukutu kuma ITPs yini kate enze. Iba api eba funa ama facilities most. Uma wukuti lawa mawati lawa ayave la wukuleo ITP. Please push those officials so that iba wazuku implement that process. Then we issue ya makaremis. Nizwe umerisa kulumangenda by about level 1 to high performance still go to stress go to um why academic over mina mina i'm running academy and the esports from under 13 up to under 17 and the basketball from under 13 up to under 21 because it's lalange is great because we're going to turn them into a three by three a escape more last week is over corner for this week where by our final way to am under 14 he born a bubble number one a host wa iguru lini. Then, ibe soguba yi na koza na yi, si tali uta skazari la poguti ti na si qualifier kui ipi level. Because so kulumenge level one wa up to high performance. So that na ti sigo azu kuti sibe involved in that, in that project. Then, ibe soguba yi ishu yi na koza na ye, ye yalama meetings abakona. Bestre yalama ni ba party vetu. 
ukuti maybe uma ukuthi niya engage anathi in future anike nithi ukuthi divide maybe kube na message na ithu kube khona i sports kube khona i arts because when i attend that dinner kozana i i engagement i got this deep proof last year it was chaotic and we were dominated by arts and culture tina as sports actually nesinga kwazi nona ukukhuluma so that's why we told you this in the evening we will fit back in tina as sports is in one of them so we still look at maybe no consideration with the sports and arts maybe then my son is feeling years like a feedback kubo kuti miss visa song then lastly the school holiday programs who put you a cool man in school holiday program by a style of a matter of the law a nabos is over seven zag my heart but as later my proposal for my school holiday programs we let the proposal you even who policy register but at the end of the days who told you to i was one ex i'm actually luto so i was no more about concert in chile no more about zang about consideration so i tell you to me i'm going to see apply it so tell you to miss pendule says you to go in zagale and allow my proposal because we since got you to tell about it tell i'm a ball out there whatever was a business during the school all day who told you to move to figure but i Leo proposal wako kunzi manano kutisi consideration because even in department I got taking that equipment. Mari school holiday program say pelile mari department I got taking equipments. Let us understand what you mean again. Then lastly, the issue of seven sana na kule I raise that issue. I inda bogo tisangela as a department. Anu zame pelo kuti ni kulume no zagwe inu. I department of education. Mina la inshallah kwenye watu 118, kukono Queens High, kukono Kensington High, kukono Jules High, kukona O Malvern High. But it's very difficult to get to those schools and use it for sports purposes or in netball or maybe in soccer. So best try to get engaged with the Department of Education so that umasi figure tena sina mati moto lugu di don't have their facilities. Then baagua zugu samgeela because. In a memorandum of understanding between yourselves. Ambayo wako. Greetings to the house at large. I go by the name of uh, Achipol Mahene, Ketua Carltonville. And then I'm a coordinator here, Remodeling Lives. I'm also an instructor from a Family Fitness Club, and I'm also an artist. Yeah, from our side, ne nerelaka arts facilities, because from where I'm coming from, Mahona arts facilities, since it has been burned down, I think from 2010. So ever since I was very creative until then. So just imagine as a young children or, or, or raised up from that habitat, the uh, Ejoalo, without you displaying your talents or without you growing your talents. Like for you, it's something that is, you destroy. No matter how talented you can be, but uh, growing up in such an environment, it cannot grow you up. That is why somehow, uh, the drugs because of that they don't have chances to display their talents and some of them they come from unprivileged families so in order for them to be to display their talents they have to go outside and in which is they can afford to uh, so just imagine having a dream and then a auto distro I can treasure not being able to display your talents like it it and being uh, in an environment whereby it is infatuated with drugs so uh, what are you going to do like what end up because of that thing you were never given opportunities to display your your talents and then we go to sports uh, materials i was running an aerobic team since from last year so I've been requesting for sports materials. Uh, the government I answer, in answer, I have to have stats. 
in whereby from the environment uh, they are not uh, exposed to, to such things. So in order for me to have stats, I need to start to implement uh, that shandes. So I don't think uh, I will be able to change the environment because of lack of materials, because uh, uh, they are not exposed to such things. So in order for me to, to change the environment, I need to display myself first. So I need materials in order for me to be able to display myself. So they say they need stats and uh, stats again to exaconenwe razor because of these people, they don't know what I'm doing. So we come to the book clubs. When it comes to the book clubs, uh, last year we went for nationals, got the book clubs and everything, it was good. And then, yeah, everything, it was dope, even though Azange ba, ba, Baba committed to their promises. But everything it was dope. Uh, the only thing Elonghore Azanga by Yeta Hantle, they didn't bring books on time, in which is Kionen Trela Elaba disadvantage Corona. We are going against the in laws. So the in laws, they, they provide books for them on time. So Bonnet, the only thing that they know, they breathe, they eat books. So just imagine being. Uh, being in the competition with uh, someone like that, like there are low chances for you to win. So I would suggest the for Bona Horeba, but bring the books on time. And then buy uh, the uh, boot camps for Batubayan coordinationals in order for us to have uh, proper preparations. Yeah. And then we come to the. Yeah, I think that is all. Thank you very much. Sanbonani, Ninjani, I would like to thank HOD way to the panel yonke e kona. Mina e kamala mungu mama uspongile ndebele from region G, ward 4, Orange Farm. Nilana mungu mama upete amachich maidens. Nyezo aguti nkuluma nge sports, arts and culture, but we are not touching on ama maidens. Mpete into binto. Hey, show you. Anyege uti uichi ichi unga show. Eh, siko na pagate kauteng. We are encountering so many problems, especially Messiya EKZN. EKZN stalo eh where we sleep. I art and culture is not taking care of us. Silala e koloni ezimanzi. E koloni zama whatever. Uh, you find a tent El Palwe uh, city of Jobek. Kuno mama opete amachichi. You don't know who to solegan jani sponsor. She's alone in that tent. There's water, there's beds, there's everything. In tents agala yuguti kuno kopololo. Kuno kopololo. Si katele ugu recognizewa IKZN si ni khauteng. Amachichi maningi e khauteng si maningi. Oh, mama, baby, tama chich. Inte klaga yo uguti lama protocols. All these uh, things I was funa uguti melu pale logu funa logu funa loki anu funa. Ah, oh, mama, baby, tama chich batala bab batala. I'm talking about somebody on a seventy or so live. Can you imagine umuto na seventy ulogum funa lama requirements? All these requirements, requirements. You go to that uh, department. They want these requirements. You go to that department. It's tiring. Ako na machich echauting. Ene i recognition si chola ekezetn umasiak bayete. Asi fun don tole. Tala guti echauting i arts and culture age ismele isipi transport isipugula isipamanzi isipegonke umasamba. Sbona gal guti natis pumechauting. You find that guti bayete when eh, 
he calls Amachichi, maybe he's around in Gauteng. We are being called to come and eat. We don't want that. No. As Fungula, Sfuni funding, of which e funding it's very difficult to get. Then you find a venue around Orange Farm. As in a little as Nama NPO, but things only venue in 750 or per night. City of Johannesburg. 750. Abantu anaba fundi school. Uma malomela uholi 350. I don't have any money to give to those guys. But meluha biyekbazali and ask from the parents, can you please donate so that we can get a hall for the night? Our counselor, they are nowhere to be found. I knew him when he was like a guy. I don't want to even mention his name because his colleagues are here. They can even call him good bambus, good house ban ban Why are you not working? I'm a counselor not available. Aweko, ntobo. You go to their offices. Basak chelo guti. I'm a requirement to funa loku, meru funa loku, funa loki ana. I bo unko se am se akel, se akel la please. Skatel la makanzel. If funding, si si ni da inte funa na ma pits. I do pits min. Nizan lazam. I teach these kids. I teach these kids how to sing. I teach these kids how to go to Kalum Kombo to pant. Uma in Tombaza, Meluza has good. Uzo Shatang, Lila, Meluaz, Ukali Tombolo, Ulbege Langin, Ultrov, Ganga, Kifut. Those are the things that we teach these kids. Anyaguzu to Unkoskas when in future I was going to Mkombo from scratch. No. When you are an African, Utu and Awu culture, you must know all these things. Nyakela, Nyakela, Salon, Kelaguti, Ni, 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 a, a office is not our head office. You find e e e e if I take taxi association is e paga te machichi na was good kwenza gala ni paga te machichi ni baba peta machichi you find ama cost as a machichi and as good kwenza gala back home no mama peta machichi how ten years please please one of these requirements that you are you are putting in place I they are too much for teen and cause I'm tina we didn't go to school we can't even understand whatever that you are looking for. Ufuni text, ufuni tonton, ufuni kaibo. Again, 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 kaulen. No matter ni slogan sen, slogan sani arts, ni slogan senu culture, ni slogan senu sports. No ama jagi tigu too much. Ama camps, slal, HOT. We held camps each and every month. We've got camps that we attend to. I ama chicha yasola every month. Jawa ni shongi tigu ngeku tu hichichi unga solo. Ichichi lala pansi uguaz gutu bon guti chichi lpelel. We held camps. We told them camps. We need food. We need water. We need space. Mina inshallah adu tipi ba fetu ngoli three fifth. You find twenty five kids eng ba pete ba paga tu kalo adu tipi. Pes gom pete wam. You'll tell other kids zo ako guti. Namsa jemele ne ovaga sha guti. Ama chicha zo guaz zo zo shola pel. Ngoba uut mara zo shola mele ba zo lala la. They can't sleep. In, in, in any other place because there's things with party I'm a teacher for his into and those are into less as equal right as equal right so we are avoiding those things with I want to remember Bala Lela Bafu Gekseen Basholwe Bazi breakfast Gwako Wena Unge Namal Wambu Tengi Sinko Wau Tengi Gonke Neskoko Gonke Neti Yenil Nyakela Slalu Please Nyanizo Nkulmang Nye Sports We are talking about arts but we are not touching on I'm a teacher I'm a teacher corner but still look recognize Limbizo, Nisbiz Limbizo, Utisaz, Natuguti, Natis Corn, Nagula Department. I would him come and just say a born, Maxua Coninto, Neabiza, Tosanzo Kita, Ka. Stella would is very recognized in your bong. All right, the turning a car. Our domes are Kitiani, which I made be come get David Horn. Yeah, well, people. Siabonga, what how the legislature is the one that is recognizing us more than paid than the department. 
Why you so do people? I'm from Davidon. There's something in my eyes. We have managed to introduce new languages they call in without assistance from Israel department. We have been South African language board, but that the board or whatever the department never came in about win. The NGO in our found about the certificate sires operate. Marikwekwe the FM manage. Ikwekwe the FM manage to recognize us. Yes, as is the Utsu Faga Ilim lesson David, a school any and cities at the high school. Recently, I've been graduating the Basel University of Pretoria. We have to understand that situation. So we recognize on a young goals. Mara zita zilinda basat simi kisa kubobo nke laba. Ne department. The department lo mina nyaz kuti hi department ban. Yes, Rek, and I don't know what that department is. Because one thing, people, kune at sense and I pay David to a new rule catch why. They say the vibrant a guru lane, but recently man is trying to worry. We try to be bunga. We are more pilots, and people you don't have a direction. You people and is funded in a more pilots who go to a community center operate again or revision your department you operate again. The only thing is to not show about granting aid and so on. It's not a problem. Mara agna ma guidelines. Why? Why I'm saying these people? Uh, recently, Mbone Bai Tlina lap, and Kato Gwili Sana Nabantu lap, concerning Kutu Bas Asista Ganja and Nisangama organization on the ground. Bashela Guti Aibona, Ui Department of Sport, Recreation, Arts and Culture, Aina Mali, Aina Funding for the same, Mali Mai Pumi Yawa Manyama Department, La Awangin, all right, fine. Mbona Tlina wala pe e rusha joy. Ma Tlina wala, but uza umeya, uzo Addresser, some of our organization and our problem at the one now. Fine, as a sugar again at the Sayolinda. At the end, Satola Uguti, a who's the low mayor, no, no, MC Wakon, who's a mad temptation, you group here, say, America, Iso Farasha, Iso Tora, Lapaya at Sands. Madupu mayor, I may again. I'm not talking about preparing a bad man's share, good man's sabbatical, and it's about the temptation. And then that's not good. That was for me. Good school men have about the temptation for the sake of us. Good, I'm a VIP or it's not a problem. I don't know. But me select the end. Good, some people go to go now. So that's a good. My man never figure about buying. That's not about talking. That's about hamba. But go about telling them. Maladi mo kodi. Nama uto ana samwe. What's up? What's surprising is at the end. La bantu na gati ba kita la gati benza yon kelento lena. About two hundred and fifty months, it's right department. See, con, I'm official. Con, but they did not care about these people. About Tories, about Tories, I don't care. Even if they be torn, whatever. Mara, what's surprising? Good man, I'm a figure. Now, I'm a hutuan, or whatever. Got about ten years old. As I'm about what? All right, fine. About what? Hang. Man, what about the bantu? I'm a labi. Bang a tholang a gushala. Bang a bani gesa hang a naman zifuti la. This red department is a red operator ganjan. What you think about that one? You part you go think about that one who told you for I'm a the temptation. You don't believe that one, you de. And the one of them all, all the officials, we have to wear the lapa. We run that way. We go through the temptation. But what about us? We need lapa full time. Go to wear bani zihit. Now we buy bani. We buy zoto. We need good. We need a challenge and pega na now. I feel baham, but she a lap. Good name come. We are not important. Not the problem, people. And as long as you are important, Ganje, what is the important things? Oh, you go to go back on the department, but the sport, the recreation, art and culture. What is the important of that? If born, you go to buy a township, or you go to buy a mountain township, as something that is not important for them. And a lot of them all go to GFC, la people. Right now, man, the Sioux Human Rights Month. There's something terrible that happened last year. Go far in the GFC. Fagi for International Film and Video Foundation, Fagi in the Department, Fagi in the Recording Industry of South Africa. Why in Shoganje? Last year, Kruger Top, when they got a terrible thing, people. When I went to the shooting music video, they were attacked, they were raped, they were done, all these things. But until today, Anga Zengezo, even the minister, a comment on the other ones, they get Anga Zengezo, even the GFC, the comment about the music video, they got to shoot all the people to watch themselves. Until today, anger is even 
kwa UMNC a comment na rianda wa dia bend manzi lento stella ni manzi kuti awiweka zie or are we beggars are we people who are to be exploited or are we people who are to be protected manzi ye what is these people I can't be any honest. We have gone to the Maltese and but the very same people are by the Maltese. Are by even to go by engage. Monga is not a stadium. This can be seen. Do you to say it is the best? A group name, but Monga is a man. This can be seen. We have not said to the Benza sport until today. Abba Sago has got access to the end of the because we try to bring Monga. Abu Kundo, my success can be. Man, what is the what the purpose? Man, we go to the department. It must be Zelalam. By a bachelor, you're keen to end up. I would like to give you to me. I didn't have a good select department. I'm official. So, up now, what what I have a team plan. My team plan is a civil engineer, but my mom was good to team plan. I am done, but I'm not a good no civil engineer. Yeah, I carry as Katele. You but he know he's doing the best thing. Come on, I'm official now. I just doing the best thing. Man was good to me. I'm not a good sport recreation. I think I'm doing a bad thing now. Because most of the time people they die poor. Are you celebrating if they are dying poor? I want to love. Good time, man. Granting eight, granting eight. What is the problem, people? Granting eight, granting eight. Come on, I go to party with them today. Is like, good thing. Where is the major event? The mark granting eight must be increased to four million as little. But what is the purpose? Good thing. Seven now. If you, as a people, every department, you are playing far away from the bantuin. Nianjele ngaba online, kuti mafunuko aplaya, aplaya online. People mina mang vote, asa yu vote online. Eno mang vote, vuto vangu vote ni WhatsApp. So don't ever expect me kuti hey you buy a poster. No 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 no. My vote, no way asa beba campaign na bangela to to to. Bakbi uzuto enu kalangan, mbache uzuto kalangan lo. Why did some magu say deliver? Why don't you uzuto have a poster online? When I shoot out that smartphone, no people my feel my eco pays go smartphone. My freedom is based on my right as a South African citizen. Thank you. Uh, San Bonan, everyone. Uh, my name is Lee Mtakane. Uh, I'm from Davidin, Egurlin. Uh, uh, I think my colleagues have already covered me. The guy from uh, Tembisa and the lady from. Uh, Actonville, Whiteville, they've already covered my point, even my colleague um, Zoya has already covered my point. So there's only one point that I, was, I must raise. It's like, I've been in sports for almost 26 years this year. 26 years. In these 26 years, I I'm always on the stadium, 365 days. Only one year when I was in Germany, for nine months studying in Leipzig, in Germany, for hand handball for my B license. I've obtained it. I'm a qualified uh, coach in handball. Uh, three years back, I was in Qatar in the World Championships. I've also qualified as a A license uh, a top coach in SA in handball. We are only two. So to me, it's surprising. It means how things they don't recognize me. Why I'm saying that I've got a, a phone call today half past seven to say there's a strike meeting today, half past seven. For the past 26 years, I've been attending things of department. It means you don't know me in the whole 26 years. But I'm in South Africa. Thank you. Uh, greetings. Uh, this is Lakim Kwebane. I'm from Lefontaine. I'm the HOD of sports for a, a, an NPO called Watopanda Community Forum. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the Gauteng Department of Sports. Last year, we managed to take 15 swimming instructors for a learn to swim course. And I can tell you now that we are already giving back to the community. There are a group of kids that we are training, teaching them water safety and some basics. So what we'd like to uh, ask from the department is we continue on this chain. We started this, and then we would like for this uh, program to be sustainable. Like, we don't want to... 
wake up uh, tomorrow and find that the program is no longer uh, in existence. So can you continue supporting us, please? I believe uh, we'll produce medalists in Lefontaine. Thank you. Uh, before the chair invites the department to respond, I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who made a contribution. Uh, I'm sure, I know from the committee, Pilile was taking notes of what we were raising. And I'm sure the department was doing the same, because I saw Mr. Mazilazil and the HOD uh, scribbling notes, Lemerisa, as you were speaking. Chair, I'm not sure. I think next time we should do, someone suggested here, that we we'll probably subdivide when we have engagement. So probably we have an engagement over a three-day period. We have sports only on that day. We engage only with sports. And then the following day, we engage arts alone, and so on and so forth. Maybe that's one of the things that we must consider as we meet ourselves as a committee. Second to that, Chair, I, I, I was asking for your permission, and I know you agreed, even though you didn't say anything. Because if you didn't agree, you would have said no. So on the basis that you didn't say anything, I, I take it that you agree. That what we need to do, Chair, because, you see, one thing that irritates me, it's continuous complaining without any possible solution. There are members or colleagues who, who stood up and said, we have identified this portion of land here, we identified this building here, but we are unable to access it, we are unable to use it. Maybe we must call the infrastructure, have a joint committee with infrastructure development. Uh, stakeholders, what you need to do on the day when, when you are invited by Abu Pilile to come before the infrastructure, also with that physical address. In that meeting, say to us, this is the address. It's vacant, it's not working, we would want to use it. So that immediately, immediately, we are then able to look which department or user department does the facility belong to. You will leave that responsibility with us as a committee to go and fight for you. Because some of these things, they are tiring if it's you and you alone. Maybe we must have that meeting where infrastructure comes. You say to them, I've seen this. What does it mean? We say, no, it belongs to transport. We will speak to the committee of transport. We will speak to the MEC on your behalf. And then we get the response from the office. No, the request has been made. You are granted. This is a lease. Come and sign the lease if, if, if needs be. Thirdly, thirdly, when we have not benefited, right or wrong, if and when you have not benefited, it's suicidal for you to stand up and say, Department, you are not doing anything. If you have not benefited, don't come and say, Department is not doing anything. Because Mautka to which Department is not doing anything, it's useless and all of that. The next speaker stands up and says, Thank you, we you helped us, we took 15 swimmers and so on. And so, forth. so it's a contradiction immediately there. You say, department, you're useless, you're not helping us. The next speaker stands up and says, thank you, Sfiso, I want to thank you for it. And so it, it becomes a contradiction. Just stand up and say, to date, we have not benefited. And these are the things that we have raised with you. The reason I was saying to you, from the presentation, extrapolate things that you think have not been adequately responded to and stick to them. Don't start anything from scratch. It was precisely so that you are able to say to the department, Someone says, since 26 years I've been in sports and all of that, I only got to be invited yesterday or this morning. It is wrong, I know. But what could have been the reason? And these are the things that we need to attend to. We need to extrapolate. You know, when we have this type of meetings, colleagues, you must say to us, okay, let me do this. I want to show you something that at times when you stand up and say certain things, you are contradicting yourself and it's not a nice thing. We never do. You were there, some of you. The then chair immediately closed the meeting. The temple who didn't know what to do. That the China didn't know what to do. Our selfless committee, we tried to speak to the chair. He was so angry. Those who were there in Everton, you'll remember. Because he was complaining that it cannot be correct. That you come 
to the engagement, the MEC is not there, the Office of MEC is not there, and the report that is being presented to you is not what we asked for. You remember? And some of you stood up today, yeah. You are saying to us as a committee, we must help you to fight with the department. Because ours is to make sure that the department do what they said they are going to do. You are standing up here and you are saying to us, take an artist, let him go and teach at Koskolo. Stop taking a teacher history at Koskolo. That's what you are saying. Give the, the miracle it's okay, but about relevant. So an artist must teach art. A musician must teach music and so on. Department, you were fighting the department. Is it Martha Mafukat an artist? Is he not an artist? When you were supposed to say to the portfolio committee, can you help us to ensure that when the department gives Arthur money to do this project, Arthur make use of our companies, of our NPOs and so on and so forth. So they don't bring people that don't know anything about art. Yourself as artist, may his soul rest in peace, Menzinguban, and what they is termed generation 16 or cast 16 or something like that. They say it is about time. Okay, start. You see, gone. Tomorrow we'll be complaining that when we're in the city hall, we said the following and no one is saying anything. What responding is not here. Statue stands up and speaks about intellectual property. So it's another thing that we are not taking into consideration. Someone here says the, the work has been sold. You know, SABC takes the material and sell it and all of that, which is intellectual property. Generation 16 stands up and says it's about time. Enough is enough. We must be recognized as artists so that no one tells you that a civil engineer is doing something better. And when, because you're an artist, you are a, by the way. Generation, both Menzin, Guban, and them, they stand up and they fight for that. Is there no generation on TV? Is there no generation on TV? Are there no artists that are acting there? Were they not aware what is the caste 16 is fighting for? But they betrayed them. No, 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 no. You see, when you spoke, I kept here. I stood here for two hours. I'm responding from what you were raising. I am responding. The point I'm making is that if you are unable to unite, they will continue to exploit you. That's the point I'm making. You don't have to like it. It's a fact. If you are unable to unite, they will continue to exploit you. Mom, Mom Debele, ne? You speak about the group that you have, and you need help and all of that. And the gentleman that was moving the mic here, yeah, I don't see him now. Yeah, yeah. We're in... No, not ever to. I think we're... West Rand or something. We're in West Rand. Yeah, we're in Western area. We're in Western area. This gentleman here, yeah, I remember very well, he stood up. And he says, I'm from Ward 25 in M. Fule. I've got the group or something. We're supposed to go to Umkosum Sang. Immediately, right then, right then, and then, uh, acting HOD, if you remember, that Tempo was still there. A decision was taken in a meeting that they be supported, they must go there. Now, I'm raising this point because I would want you and him to work together so that next time when he is, Neti, here we are. We've got 300 kids that are going. Because he had an opportunity to raise it. He was helped. You were not there. Yours did not get an adequate sleeping arrangement and all of that, but his did. But you are all from Gaute. It shouldn't be that way. At least when you leave the province, you must live as a unit. Say, these ones are from Gaute. And these are the things that we should be fighting for. When we are seated here, we should be saying, Tina, Maureen, stands up and says, MEC says in her challenge, Come together, be one. Our responsibility here is to check with the MEC. Why is MEC unable to meet with the same challenge that she gave to them? Easy as that. So that we can then get a call from EPA and MEC and say, the MEC is now ready to meet with you. Because you came here and you are saying, after everything has been said and done, this is what the MEC said to us. And we have done exactly that. And what is the problem? So, 
the point is, let, it, it's about time that we stop complaining and complaining, but we are now action oriented. When we speak, there must be results. And when the results are there, next time when you come, tell us, right? You know, I was here, or we were here, we said the following, we want to report today that at least, we are not yet there, but at least we can see that there is a movement. But if you're going to fight as an individual, it's going to be a long, long, lonely road. As I sit down, Chair, my message to you, Sanganan, unity. unity. If all of you can come together and say, Tina, we are in the, I'm from th uh, theater group myself. I'm from sketches, I come more garaging to stages and all of that. I know what uh, being a performing artist can do and can take you. Ma'am, you were saying to us, you are dealing with these kids who some of them are physically challenged. And I want to tell you now, between me and you, when we leave here, we are going to talk to the HOD of social development, between me and you. Are you complaining that her social workers, when they get to you, the only thing they do is to complain, but they are not helping you. We are going to talk to the HOD. Next time when you come here, I want to tell them that you were not helped, it was useless, or it, it, uh, if there was something positive that came out of it. Thank you so much, Chair. Uh, thank you, Antonas. Sorry. Thank you, uh, Member Modise. <laughs> thank you, Member Modise. Uh, I just want to, you know, when you were speaking, and my, my, my team was noting, some of you addressed me or us as the department, and we are not the department. So I'm phoning to get pegging and we're missing a team. I guess pegging again. Moba Minua Mumsevens and Wensil and Baleti and our Pamwin. So Mancha, I think a child a cool legislature. Because when I started this meeting, I said our mandate is to do an oversight over them. We're not them, eh? <laughs> so we're doing an oversight over them. They come and say, it's not granting 80 or 4 million. They come and say, it's not granting 80 or 4 million. So you have And later they come and say, it's banigil. And then Tina sit out, so you have to go and say, So that is oversight. Eh? But you have to be emotional. You have to be emotional. You have to be emotional. And you have to be emotional. And you have to be emotional. And they say, this plan is as child. Uh, I'm gonna just to, uh, to call the department to come and respond, but to say, since we some of you were saying, but I'm still saying we're doing an oversight over the department. stadium or crown, sports, ne arts, ne culture. So I'm saying what brings us to your communities is the work that you do. I wonder if you know him cooking warm, says a telecon, then I'll come because it's, 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 uh, it's related to the work that I do. And I'll be able to say to the department, hey, department, those people are doing a good job there, but the situation is dire and it needs your intervention. That is the simplicity of our jobs. And the looks, maybe I'm going to go to the unit, but I'm going to go to the so we look like uh, 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 the department or the portfolio committee itself. We can't change offices, unfortunately. Uh, I'm serving also in agriculture. So if my office now looks like it's sport, and I say agriculture was without an element of amasi, munyana, then there will be that element. So I'm a looks as well again. But maybe my office in that department. We can talk to the looks. I mean, uh, before we joined legislature, uh, 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 Member Modise, we used to visit departments. I remember in DET, I'll speak about them because when you enter, they painted a certain floor in a different arrangement, another floor in a different arrangement, another floor in a different arrangement. It, it, it creates that oomph that these artists want when they enter uh, those buildings. It's important. It might... Uh, sound not relevant but it's important it's very nice that when i enter the reception of a department of sports arts and culture it then speaks to me in that fashion 
even if in the boardroom it's more serious, but let the, let the, the offices speak to the people that uh, it represents. So let me call the department. And I want to assure you, uh, this thing of acting, acting, Mama, that you are raising, there are changes. Uh, maybe you did not calculate from uh, Everton and November. Uh, the acting is going down a bit by bit. Maybe next time when we meet, it will only be us actors and not them. But now they will be full time. But there is movement there. We did receive their report uh, two weeks back. Uh, there is movement. Obviously, today is because we are doing stakeholder engagement and the feedback. We are focusing on uh, issues that would have been raised last time. But those of you about uh, the department, they know that the department has advertised Angazenga Kama Post. Because the way is a priority, which is good, but we are still saying they must still focus on, on their programs. But let me not waste time. Uh, let me call the HOD and the team uh, to come and give uh, the responses to what has been raised. Thank you. And, and colleagues, uh, let's have some Slelela Pambili, ne? By a politica now, Neskatsa. And the man it by a politica, Seba, I'm a unionist. And the bank jailer would mark show of past four. By sharp hands, because this same institution, I found no papatala, I'm a nitin over time. So now, when I go to Slelela, bang a hole. So I was just saying as we engage. Even next time, man in busy, la lenga pandi. Nenga manga le af pass four basugu ma bonke ngsala na ani mina. It will be because of uh, those things that are happening in the institution. I'm sure for the first time you attend our event and puzanga months. You must surely ask yourself. Last balandelele el elinia abu aguna months. Mara mislanga nistratin bas no guza na. What is happening? So those are issues that are also affecting us internally. And we are hoping to deal with them to such that they don't affect the rest of us. Uh, thank you. You can proceed, HOD. Thank you very much, Chair. Um, and let me also appreciate the inputs from, from the stakeholders. I will try to respond to all of them uh, such that the Chief Directors would not have a need to to comment. Chair, I'm of the opinion that most of the inputs that were made do not deviate much from the issues that we dealt with in my presentation earlier this morning. There is quite a lot of inputs around sports facilities, um, the lady in front here from SAPS spoke about sports facilities. Um, football and not ball fields. What 25 and full lane from a gentleman who did not, or whose name I did not get. Maurice Koza also spoke about um, over and above the work, the good work that the department did in Buipatong. There's also a need for sports facilities. Teboho spoke about a high performance center in townships. Uh, so th th there are quite many, Chair. But I think it's important that I make this point clear. That in terms of the structure of our government as a unitary state, um, there is constitutional mandates of each sphere of government. So, the maintenance and the upkeep of libraries, sports facilities, swimming pools, and so on and so forth, is the competency of local government. However, having, having seen the condition over the years of these facilities, we have come to a determination as a department that because as a province we are funding some of these uh, infrastructure projects, Section 40 of the PFMA allows us to then intervene 
where the municipality is seen not to be carrying out its constitutional mandate. So when I say that as a department will then move into townships and start putting in artificial turf, uh, repairing uh, sporting facilities in schools, uh, refurbishing municipal or community swimming pools, one must be mindful of the fact that we are actually entering a territory of the municipality. But we are doing that because we are invoking a section of the law that allows us to do that. So we're doing it on those bases and those bases only. So there was an issue around how were these, or where are these schools, one, and how were these schools identified? Now these schools, uh, the 72 schools that I spoke about, about, were actually not identified. It's schools that wrote to the Department of Education and requested that assistance. So education realizing that they are not able to assist at that point in time, they passed that mandate to us, to assist, and we gladly ac accepted. So we are going to schools where the principals would have approached either ourselves directly or the Department of Education requesting that assistance. However, we are at a provincial level identifying those areas that are critical for the development and the support of our school sports program. So it is our intention that in all the 15 districts of, of, of education that school sports must begin at all those, those, those districts, including the ECDs. So in each district, we'll identify a few schools, especially where the 72 do not form part of that particular area, so that every district in the province has got participation in the school sports in two ways. One, they've got sufficient or they've got reasonable facilities to be able to participate in sports and two they've got the necessary equipment and attire to do so so yeah chair i thought i i i addressed that issue and that goes for your your art centers as well because art centers belong to municipalities as well but we will bring art centers into this program where we are invoking section 40 of the pfma to allow us to intervene and do the work because the municipality is failing to do so. So that's how, we, that's how we are approaching that particular part. Okay, Chair, you, 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 you raised an issue around arts in schools and the utilization of arts legends and veterans. Um, and I think it was also raised by uh, some colleagues um, as well. And, and Chair, you will recall that when we launched the, the Wednesday League, we've actually renamed it. We now call it the Integrated School and Arts Program. So not only are we implementing um, sports program in schools we are also bringing into the schools as programs and that will be things like uh, choral music dance war cries division um, um, yeah there's, there's, there's quite a number of them but it's as programs that do yeah, drama, visual arts. Uh, we're also bringing a program on, on, on as, as part of the school sports program. We're also developing a program that recognizes that it's not every child in a school who wants to kick a ball. There are those who want to be sport commentators, for instance. There are those who want to be sports journalists. There are those who want to follow the business of sports, who want to go into into equipment and attire manufacture, who want to make the football that we kick, who want to make soccer boots. And, and so it's a long-term vision of the, of, of the department, but it's part of what we're bringing into, into, the, into, the, into the program. So GFC is going to assist us with that program, to teach some of our kids in our schools to, 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 to do live presentation of both sports, arts, and culture activities that happen in schools. So we'll have a Robert Marawa of school sports. So that's part of the programs that we're bringing into school. So that, that should, 
then incorporate, we're in discussions with SAFA, for instance, to, to, to kick off the program, in that we're going to bring sports legends and veterans into the program, both in the capacity of officiating and conducting clinics. Part of that program involves bringing the PSL, the Houghton based PSL teams as the anchor for some of these, these programs. For instance, Mami Lodi Sundowns will be the anchor prog uh, program uh, uh, driver in Tuani, for instance. So they will be developing and driving the training of coaches, of referees, of um, what do you call these people who keep stats? How is that up on? Um, commissioners, yes. So all of that sector will, will be driven through the PSL, uh, Houghton based PSL teams. So Morocco Swallows will also be allocated a, a, a region. So will uh, the real team in the province from Naturena. It will probably take over Soweto. And uh, there's also Orlando Pirates will probably deploy it in City Bank. Uh, and get it to assist us there. So it's a very exciting program. Uh, it has been launched. Um, workshops are actually happening now. Consultations are happening with various stakeholders. I indicated that we've already spoken to, 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 to SAFA. Um, the unfortunate chair is that in, in Houghton we've got too many, especially in the football sector, there's too many legends organizations. There's, there's legends, there's masters, there's veterans, there's, and they are not united. So it becomes difficult to bring them into the fold because when you talk to one, the other, you know. And then, colleagues, let me also state here, uh, I'll make an example, Kamorin, that in her engagement with the MEC, um, they discussed the issue of establishing a women's ambassador program. Now, as the head of department, it is my responsibility, because this is an administration, administration uh, uh, prog problem. Now, I will handle that. You don't, you don't necessarily have to meet with the MEC. Uh, you, you, you just may want to go back to her to thank her once you've engaged with myself and we actualize this. But the MEC will not have the time as a political head of a department to dwell into the issues of setting up administrative processes. It's the job of the HOD. The same goes, there's a lady that spoke about something similar to that and has been battling for a while to get the MEC. I'm here, my sister. It's me that you should come to. And the same chair goes for, for, for the modeling program and photographics and beauty pageants. And these, these are now what I call new and fresh ideas. You know, it's something that the department really hasn't applied their minds well on. And it's something that we're prepared to look into. So we'd want to engage uh, at our level that we sit down and we discuss this thoroughly and we see how it fits into the funding instruments of the department and the overall APP of the department so that we can be able to fit it in and structure it within the, perform the work that we need to perform as the department. So engage with us. We're inviting you to do engage with us so that we can, we can actualize this. So that you are able to go back to the LEC and thank her uh, for, for, for the work that we shall have done. Chair, I think in a nutshell, um, okay, there were issues around the academy. Again, it's an issue that we, we would like to engage with a colleague. Dr. Uh, Konyani, who ran an academy for nine years, 25 years, I mean. No, we'll engage with him uh, and see how we collaborate as we also run. Uh, I think we've got six academies in the province, uh, none of which are township based and as the prime priority of the department we're beginning to move all our programs into into the township so that the bulk of our spend as a department finds expression in, in the places that we come from so again i'll invite that dele konyani to to engage with us and uh, 
And then there was the issue that was raised by the disruptor, but he's still not back yet, on the naming conventions of our heritage preservation. Uh, we've noted that. We will engage with him on that. And then there were two invites for the portfolio committee to visit uh, King uh, Lord Fontaine and um, I can't see where I made a note of that other. But yeah, I think it's safe to say part of the priorities of the department is to really upscale our work in Tish. And Tish is nothing else but township, informal settlements, and hostels. So part of the work that I announced here, like the, the, the uh, implementation of the artificial teeth uh, program, will target hostels and informal settlements as a priority. Because we need to establish those spots and facilities because those, those, those areas form part of our community and, and a very serious fiber of our co community. So we are targeting those, those, those areas as a priority. Um, noting also there are three colleagues who really commended the department on the good work that they have done. A critical one again, Chair, was that the Artists cannot survive on stipends, and I think it came from, from that side. So we, we, we agree, we do believe that and we agree. And, and uh, it is on those bases that we are, we are developing these programs that will allow us to engage meaningfully economically with, 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 the, with the sectors. Um, I think GS, GFC got quite a lot of commendations and we will not go there. Uh, I'm acknowledging them. I'm acknowledging them. And how do women in arts? I'm here. Let's, let's meet. Let's talk. Let's get it going. And the book labs, we've got a program under our library services, which is program three. Uh, that supports book clubs with, with material. So, um, yeah, uh, approach has changed. But I think there's one thing that we need to correct here. There's, you, you will hear quite a lot of people say, I've submitted a proposal to the department and nobody came back to me. Now, Chair, there is a manner in which a person submits a proposal to the department. Uh, such that you don't just pass by and drop a proposal and, and, and expect. So the department has got funding instruments. So you respond to a specific funding is instrument. Some funding ins instruments are by way of a call-out where an advert would be placed on, on, on the, on, on in, in the media and people respond to it and there's a specific budget to it and allocations are done. And those will be for major events and, 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 and major uh, 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 projects. Um, and then we have a specific one that speaks to bidding and hosting, and that talks to significant events, you know, your, your signature events. And then there are standard APP programs of the department that operate on a funding cycle of government. So, for instance, we all know that there's community games in December or there's Easter games in April. Now, to come a month before and drop a proposal, uh, believe you me when I say nobody will look at it, not even me. But if you structure your proposal such that they are in line with how the department works, you are making it easy for the department to be able to work with you. Then there are those who, who, who know somebody, who knows somebody, who knows somebody, and wants to send a proposal through that channel. And that too will fall through the cracks and not be attended to. Because what does get attended to is the proposals that come through the systems and cycles of government. When we open up, as we go into the new year now and we open up, for proposals to come through. Those are the proposals that we're going to do and develop our plans for the, for the year on the basis of what we have. 
Not the proposal is again and is too bad during the year and expect funding in that very year. Unless if we more for the proposal, should go to sober ready for the following financial year, then you are on time. So I think we should be reasonable in the manner in which we send these proposals. Um, I've seen some proposals uh, uh, dropped at the office chair. Tolugutama dates are corner to leave. Or it dates are corner is in a week's time. And obviously with processes of government, we'll not be able to address those. Chair, I think I've addressed uh, most of the issues. The chief directors can come in to fill up the gaps. And maybe the CEO of GFC can come and acknowledge the commendations. I thank you. Marissa, uh, there was a question on the explanation of uh, academies. How are they differentiated in terms of levels? Okay, so in terms of academies, we have two types. We have the one that is run by the uh, department. We have five regional academies, one in each of the municipalities. Um, and in terms of that, uh, we um, give access to federations um, in terms of accessing, accessing the services at those um, academies as well. And we will share the list of that with the with the portfolio committee. The only thing is you can't just rock up there and, and want to use the facility because otherwise we're going to, we need to also, we've also regulated it where people need to sort of apply to use the facility so we can monitor what happens there. Remember, high performance is very sports science specific. We don't just want athletes coming there and injuring themselves. So we also need to make sure there's a proper sports scientist um, at the facility. So that's the one part. The second part is where you have these private um, academies uh, where people have structured their own academy. Now with that one, we work with the Houting Sport Confederation because SESCOC has guidelines in terms of the structuring of private academies. And I know, I don't know if Yasin has left already. Uh, there he is. Um, and I know that we, there's a form that you need to fill out so that we can then determine at what level is your academy. Is it an entry level academy? That means it's just a basic uh, 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 club or is it a real elite academy where you're doing sports science testing with your athletes? So that is the information um, that we can give you. We can give you the form, you can apply for it um, and then we will take it from there. But then they will then indicate at what level you are in terms of your private academy. Okay, all right. Is that all your person? Thank you. Uh, CEO. Thank you very much, Chair, and to all our stakeholders for the positive feedback. I must indicate that we are planning a number of stakeholder engagements. A number of issues that came out of the meeting really needs to be discussed so that we can then be able to frame how do we assist in distribution with the IPI course and so forth. So I do not believe that it's something that we can deal with here. Um, we are a planning around table uh, together with the office of the MEC. Once that is done, we'll then be able to address it adequately. We are also engaging with the National Treasury and other um, relevant stakeholders who we are making advanced discussions in improving even our finances for next year. But we've also met with the board on the finance issue to say how do we engage private sector in assisting us. So it is a matter that is giving the industry headache, it's a matter that is giving us headache as well. So we also are focused on that. Without prolonging you know, the meeting, I know it's quite late, Chair. Thank you very much, and as GFC, we are at your service.
colleagues, you know, I've been, before I chat, I was a member of this committee. And I must say, you would, and I'm sure none you are agreeing. But there are changes. That's what I know. So today, the way it's coming, it shows that there is movement. Yeah? And, and for the first time, uh, this man says he puts his head on the block. For those that may need him, but I'm saying there is movement. Uh, maybe I know actor and no, eh? Because I need by act and a talaba act. Somebody said for the past two years, we said they must stop acting. And uh, for the past two years, they were continuously acting up until last month. When we started seeing adverts going out, we don't know what was the issue. Because our adverts have always been there, funded. And part of the reason why we were complaining here is that the money was going back. Like So there is movement, and we must appreciate when there is movement. And we are also appreciating that it is slow, but there is movement, and we are hoping for better. Uh, well, Tino Msebe Nzwe took back Ichimisa, whether there is movement or there is no movement, or we took Pegi Malu, we took only Seve Malini, why didn't I save Nzisa? Nisa Shota Ngama Post, by let you the report, but by let you, but by squeeze, I said, no, I'm going to. It's going to be next time. I'm going to be San Chai, I'm going to be last year, I'm going to be failing. So, but there are changes. We are appreciating that there are changes, and uh, the commitment shown by the HOT and the team tells us that we are going somewhere. But I also appreciate the uh, chair of infrastructure, the commitment we have made in this committee, uh, of a joint committee meeting. Because at the center of these challenges is facilities. So, and uh, there is confusion when we speak about facilities. Eh? Uh, people see a hall, they just think it's a government building. But uh, there, are different, there are different strata's of government itself in terms of uh, ownership or operationalization of the hall itself. Uh, as the HOT would have said, for example, libraries, they are owned by sports. Sports is the one that is the, uh, 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 the habit of libraries. But they are all maintained and operationalized by the municipalities. We give them a grant to say, this is money for you to run our libraries. And uh, when they fail, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear uh, where HOT said there is, a, there, is a, there is a clause in the Constitution which we can use uh, for us to be able to go inside the regions. Because most of also our challenges are there at the municipality. And at least HOT is saying to us, we can no longer say to you, no, a competence is must be like you. Uh, HOT says when the Maspala is failing, they will effect that claw so that they can come to that region and work for our people. That is what we want to hear. And colleagues, uh, this brings us to the conclusion of our uh, 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 event. I had mandated two members here to come and close, but I see they decided to leave before we could even finish. But uh, let me thank you. Uh, today was uh, progressive than before and before. This is Shailen Zandra. And, and we hope in the next one, in the next one it will be even better than today. Uh, colleagues, before Puma, I just wanted you to get an announcement on how uh, it's facilitated. Or I want to say what Puma is. You can pick up Oh no, but la want to buy a corner, they will get lunch. So Nasan Moshe is cut, Talasin Bambi and Thank you very much.